Saturday morning. Good morning. Guitar is deep. Fox, maybe that's good morning. We're here. Stephen Friedman. Hey. Good morning. Mike. <coughs> good morning to you as well. Nana No. Hi. Melanie Martin. Hi. Nana No, I'm well. How are you? Greg, Kevin, SJ, Gigi. Yes, we're here on a Saturday. <clears throat> Let's see some other folks are up with me in New York, too. Open Plumbing. Good morning. Kowalski. Hi. Ah, Mia is here as well. Good morning. I think the uh, gimbal is a little better today. I did some rebalancing. Seems like it helped rectify some problems. Oh, we got Alexander the Great. Actually, it's Alexander the Great here. Must be specific. Stefan Schober. Jonas. Colleen, happy Saturday to you too. <clears throat> Brando, good morning. Deanna was just here at the end of August. You missed it already. Hopefully this brings back some good memories. Hopefully I sound okay. I was having some microphone disconnected problems. Let me just double check. Nope, it looks like we should be good. Great. Of note, I did find that there was a firmware update for the Rode Wireless Go 2, so hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully my throat being cleared sounds more amazing than ever. DTUK is here with some pouring rain. Kevin, we're just walking today. I try to be mindful of not putting commute in the title and we're not commuting. So today is just a stroll. From November, yes, I heard Open Plumbing will be able to visit, which means Dave S. the Goat's trip <clears throat> in February is hopefully on. Andela, hi. He said it's a beautiful morning. It is, it is. Temperature is good. <clears throat> Sun is bright. The sky is clear. It's a nice day. <clears throat> Fatima, hello. It's a walk bike zone. I guess there's still going to be that detour there, so we'll probably veer away from the river. I just wanted to make sure we start off with some rivery views. Maybe we could push the push the sunlight more east, all the way to the, the UK to brighten up DT UK's day. Yeah, I like that the iPhone is able to handle direct sunlight video right at it. That's normally not a very good uh, photograph, right? Unless you can make some edits to it. Anyway, Laura M is here. Good to see you again. Ronald, yes it is. And hello. One eyed Dave says, stormy weather there as well. What the? Good morning. Little Queen, happy, happy October, yes. Sean's got to go to a football match, but at least you're dropping in, always good to have you. Narelle, hey. Checking in in the evening, right in Australia over there? Saturday evening. Jet Mundar, hello. Oh. Got to avoid some landmines. When I say landmines here, I mean dog poop. SJ really is. So again, we're on the, um, I think we did pretty well yesterday with that reverse Speedify. So normally what I do with Speedify is I, I'd have a different SIM card from T-Mobile in the phone, and then I have a hotspot from Verizon. 
and try to make that the primary. Instead, I left the SIM card in the streaming phone and I'm doing a primary um, Verizon from the SIM with a secondary hotspot. Let's see how that goes again. Thanks, it's a bit chilly though. It's okay. We'll, we'll warm up in the walk pretty quick. <clears throat> I put my vest on because I took my bigger battery bank and it's much easier to store in my vest pockets. Plus, I have the charger for the gimbal, just in case. You never know. Wasn't that a boy band, just in case? Or something? Karan, good morning. Let's see, who else do I see? Ah, it's hard to touch the screen and not make it refocus. The highway jazz, Tequila's here. Dennis. Jonas asks if it's Jersey on the other side. No, that's Queens and Brooklyn. Queens and Brooklyn. Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Long Island City. Across us to my left. Well, it's on my left, but it's on your front face. Front face? J Boss. With a 499 Super Chat. Hey, thank you, J Boss. I appreciate it. Tugs here too. Did I miss you? I didn't mean to. I am Halapalooza. Well, I think you're earlier than yesterday, if I remember correctly, but I wouldn't say anybody's late. Hey, what a special occasion. Strawberry Fields has showed up. Welcome. Wait, what is it? Uh, like in Pokemon, a wild strawberry fields. 99 is here. Or has appeared. And it might be a shiny, if anyone understands that reference. Arjun's here. 20 pounds in the UK gives you 100 gigabytes of data and limited text calls. That's pretty good. Let's uh, follow my long shadow. Hassan Terrell said, hey, I might have missed it if you said it before, but I see it now. Just a reminder for me, the chat appears in like three or four messages at a time. So it's quick to, um, it's quick to disappear, especially if Nightbot posts something. So if I miss something, I do apologize. Where are we heading today? There's no plan. There's a no plan kind of day. Curl loves Hemp says Shadow Man. Actually, speaking of Shadow Man, that wasn't a bad video game from like 1999 or something. I really didn't mind it. I'm Alapalooza also reminds us of Alice. That's another walking uh, YouTuber in New York. Very cinematic style. Nightpot is going apple picking today. October is a good month for apple picking, right? Might as well. Girl loves hemp. What city am I in? Or part, or part of the city of Miami. Uh, we kind of just went south of Kipps Bay. I guess we're still kind of on the edge of it. We're at Waterside Plaza, which is a residential area with... Upstairs, they got their whole... They essentially got everything you need up here. They have a uh, supermarket, which is a Gristides, I think. They did have a diner before. I don't know if it reopened. I think they have everything. A gym with a pool. Garage tier two, they, they got what they need. Yeah, Walking Alice is the full name of that channel, right? Piera, I'm here, you're here, we're all here. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Oh, SJ says this is the best month. Hassan Terrell is talking about GTA 5. GTA 5, I, I hope they don't release any more versions of it. They've been releasing GTA 5 for like 35 years now. That's enough. I don't know if they can milk that cow anymore. But I guess people keep buying, so they keep making. Anyway, looks like all the boats are here. Nobody's out on a joyride. 
Wait. Narel got Vegemite pizza? Uh, I didn't see it. Is that on Discord? Where is that? I'll have to check that out. Oh, she went through the Harry Potter store. Walking Alice did. Very cool. Yeah, I've avoided going in there. <laughs> when I was in uh, Florida, we went to the Harry Potter world there. It wasn't a super... Not, not the... Whatever it's called, the amusement park, but... My friend uh, likes to get the butterbeer and put a uh, fireball in it. However that goes. Anyway. I am Lollapalooza. That's a good way to... And that statement. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear, we love good beer. Maybe you can keep the rhyme going. What's the price today? I don't know, I can't tell from this angle. Let me cross into the middle. Looks like the detour guys are still redirecting foot traffic. So we'll wait. A bit early for a hot dog, but I guess he's setting up. I don't know, actually, I just, I'm assuming he's gonna serve the, um, the boat population if they're coming. You know, I don't know if there's going to be boat tours today, but I don't know who else is going to be serving over there. Nobody really walks by there tourist-wise. All right, we'll wait here. Let's cross left. Maybe we'll go through. I think I'm going to veer away from the river, so I'm going to go to the city. But I was kind of going to go through Peter Cooper so we can get another view in there. But we're done with the city. I mean, with, this, with the river, I mean. Oh, I'm gonna wait for this. Dead Man Attack is here, Simple Learning to Pour is here. This text blacked out for the weekend, it's now Monday morning. No, 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 we're good. We're safe. Kind of, I, this kind of loud and rumbly car has a trigger foot, I think. Ah, uh, there he goes. He really needed to go, so I'm glad we made a cross. I can still hear him. I think he's like on the FDR already. Now let's go in through Peter Cooper. Take a a stroll. Is that another one? Anyway, <laughs> it's vroom vroom. 7.52 a.m. our time. One eyed days having the army deliver your fuel for Monday. Well, it sounds like you guys are having some uh, potentially people caused shortages. So hopefully uh, things quiet down a little bit. I'm sure there's a true shortage too in a way, but it's probably make, being made worse by others. There was a sense it's private property. Yeah, they're saying that this is, uh, this complex is technically private. You can walk through it, but you gotta follow whatever rules they might have. Fiat is still waiting for a notification. Lisa, I guess, gave us the heads up in Discord. Is that right? I don't know, YouTube sometimes causes some trouble. Let's see what flowers we have growing in the fall here. Fall flowers. What kind of flowers are those, the yellow ones? And look at these little fuzz balls that they seem to make after they flower. I gotta step in here for a second just to look at them. Those guys. These aren't projects, I think Carmen said, and these are Actually, they're now marketing them as luxury housing. Not housing, just luxury apartments. Con not condos, rentals. Sorry. I don't know that they qualify, despite all the changes they've made, to have such a designation, but they try nonetheless. Yeah, Dave. Where's Dave? It's, this is not Discord. This is not too nerdy a form, I think. The Mighty Bull. Good morning. Welcome, Mighty Bull. Good to have you. And they have their own security here, too. <clears throat> they drive around either in their cars, their bikes, or they have these fake segways that are more like tricycles. T-Titan, Greenheart, hello. Welcome. Hmm. 
We'll see two of the three playgrounds in Peter Cooper. The children's one is here, it's the middle one. It's the playground two, there's three total in Peter Cooper Village. The one that we didn't see in that direction is the, it's more of the paddle tennis. They might even have bocce ball over there, but it's a more open playground. And then they have the basketball one, which is closest to First Avenue that we're heading to. Polio, hello. Strawberry Fields asks if there's any special Halloween plants. No. No, first we gotta get through October. Maybe as we get closer, I'll think about some. There's, there's apparently this uh, haunted Manhattan house tours that could be interesting to go live stream on if they allow it. Um, maybe I'll look into that. I think we saw a post in yesterday's stream about it. Hopefully I'll go back and find the exact link. But yeah, we gotta go through, um, we gotta go through Comic-Con, which I'm anxious about in terms of streaming. I don't know how the service is going to be, but we're going to try. And then hopefully um, Summit at One Vanderbilt October 21st. We'll see. There's a basketball playground. Also a nice one. So they used to have... Um, ooh, we got sprayed. They used to have recreation workers here at Stye Town that would have to open the playgrounds every morning around 9 a.m. Nowadays, I'm pretty sure they're all key card activated. So if you live here, you just tap in. Up, oh, Snowy's got to go to bed. We got to say hello to Snowy and good night. Meow, meow, meow. DTUK, you heard that correctly. I actually saw another post about Comic-Con saying, oh, they, up they upgraded this little area. I guess Peter Cooper has its own little I don't know if it's a community space or one of their offices. It might just be one of their offices. Yeah, Comic-Con. But I thought I read that, like, most of the big names are kind of staying out of it. All the people they've, uh, they've named so far might be it. Like John Cena, I think will be there. I guess the Resident Aliens, some of the cast. But I heard, like, Marvel's not making a showing in general. It's kind of interesting for such a big event as Comic-Con for Marvel not to do anything. But somebody posted that on Reddit. I don't know if it's true or not. But we'll see. We'll see. Grill 21 Filipino food. Pretty good. Haven't been in a long time though. I think a friend from elementary school's family owns it. So your appearances of the Christmas lights are up already? Or I think Ronald was saying in the Philippines it all starts in September. Uh, when is Comic-Con? It's this coming week. Starts Thursday. So I took Friday off. I took a personal day already. So I'm hoping that'll be my full day there. But Thursday, if I end early enough, I might try to swing by and do a test stream just to see how things go. I don't know that I'll be able to course correct anything in specific for Friday's stream, or attempted stream, but at least I'll know, and then maybe I could just do a straight up regular recording on, on Friday. We'll see. Because Saturday, I think, is when I'm just gonna hang out there with friends and family. I usually only go one day, in general, but streaming-wise, I think a separate day would be good from the friends, just to not have divided attention when I'm there. Phantasm, yes. Good morning, we made it here on a Saturday morning. Again, I, I don't like to get anyone's hopes up, so for the most part, they're gonna be surprises. I know before, it was really, I was really consistent too. I did two, two streams a day in like December and January before the baby was born. RJ asked if this will be a regular thing. I don't think it's gonna be a regular thing because I still work certain weekends, uh, other events happen. You know, family time, I don't wanna take away too much, but I'll try as much as I can. Ooh, Wrangler. Mike, Kim, hello, doing well. Nick, Purple Flurple's here, hello, hello. Anya hopes I'm gonna open a jar of pickles. Well, if you do need a pickle jar opener, I'm pretty good at that myself. All right, I guess we'll keep going west since we're in this area. We'll walk by the police station on 21st Street. They really built up this building over here. This used to be 
a very small building. And actually had a uh, duplex uh, KFC and Pizza Hut, two in one. And considering we went to school right across the street, that was a, uh, <laughs> was a fun thing to have. Mandy from Berlin, hello. Yeah, hopefully the gimbal is less crooked, the audio sounds good, the video looks good, the service is stable. If you can have a, I guess I, I kind of named four things. If you can have a four for four stream, that'll be good. And Gigi's got the dates set Friday and possibly Thursday. Yeah, if it's going to be Thursday, it's going to be after 3.30 or so. I don't think I'm going to bother with dressing up this year. Just one less thing to think about. I feel like there's so many things going on in general. Work, family, Comic-Con, streaming. It's a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'll think of something last minute that's simple to do, like Mr. Clean. Simple learning. Yes, Nippur, we're on iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max. I figured there was no need for me to get to the Max. The Pro should be good enough for my purposes. Uh, I feel like the phone is just like slightly crooked. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could go Jeff Bezos again since I have the same clothes, really. It's just normal clothes until <laughs> way you put them together. No Sailor Moon outfit this year. No, not yet, Stex. And no, I would not go as Tuxedo Mask. I would go as, I would go as Sailor Jupiter. Bonfire Barbers. I don't know if that means that they take off your hair with fire or something else. How many phones do I use for streaming? Well, I'd like to keep it to just one phone for the primary streaming, which right now is the iPhone 13 Pro. And then, of course, my personal phone. And hopefully that's enough. Hey, now Adam is here. All right. All right, who are we missing? Is Big Dog here yet? Jeff Stremos. Gramercy Park's up ahead of us. I figure we could swing by Gramercy Park. Third Avenue is very clear and empty, both ways. Kevin Valentine asked why the cars were parked angled. For the most part in Manhattan, if you see angled street parking, it's due to a uh, police station being on that block. Oh, for audio, I'm using the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2. And it's not attached to be a lightning connection, it's attached to be a an adapter for the uh, 3.5 millimeter connector. Or is that TRRS port, they might call it? Phantasm says, different perspective on a Saturday morning. Yeah, it's definitely different. And Alex is here, Alex Burrell, hey. Welcome. Oh, with this, with this phone, I want to get a better view of the building here. This is one of my favorite buildings in this area. So, uh, Mike Kim, Saturday morning, Manhattan, everyone's relaxing. Range Rover got a ticket. I'm sure he can afford it. Anyway, um, so here's the building I wanted to show again. I mean, look, their lamps use real flames too. Uh, let me switch to the wide angle. It's very, detailed facade a lot of detail work there classy kind of precise yes that's a good way to put it right classy oh yeah it's an apartment building this is i guess 36 i don't know what they would call this gramercy park east maybe because we're on the east side of gramercy park switch back to camera yeah 36 gramercy park east i think they would call that I thought Jimmy Fallon had his apartments in one of these buildings around here. I just don't know which one. Not that he needs anyone annoying him. <laughs> what has he got a ticket for? He might, have, this is a paid parking. Not, a, I don't think it is right. Well, it might actually be. Ah, oh, he might have parked through the street cleaning. I think he parked through the street cleaning. Uh, street cleaning is 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Every day except Sunday. So it's Saturday, 8.04. I think that's what happened. And also, you're supposed to start paying the meter at 8 a.m. also, so. Yeah. 
or he's trying to leave a, a decoy ticket to deter meter maids. I don't think that works though. Yes, we take our street cleaning where all the dust and garbage are violently strewn around with that fan or brush spinning mechanism all over the place. <laughs> Stephen Luscombe stayed with a friend in Gramercy Park. Nice. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this 18 Gramercy Park South building used to be uh, like a women's um, only housing. Like not housing, but like I, it's, it tends to be a negative word in some <coughs> senses, but no, it was like a women's only um, apartment building. Yeah, Adam, I don't know where the goat is, but it looks like they're about to paint over this fence, a touch up. Women's residence, that's the good way to put it. Thank you, Adam. I think my mom even stayed there once when she came here from Russia before I came with her. She went to Russia for like a year before us, before all of us came over. <laughs> no goat, someone's milking it. Oh, that just reminds me of that Whose Lines It Anyway. Have a cup of this, it's your dad's milk. <laughs> oh, are they gonna be filming something around here? I mean, I don't know what they have to do to film around Gramercy Park. Ah, of course, Yipom. Yipom. I don't know why I just tapped that 800 times. The, the, whatever I just said from Whose Lines It Anyway is not as bad as it sounds. It's a really funny video. It's, it made it to TV. Let's just put it that way, it made it to TV. Marcin wants to see hidden spots. All right, let's see if we can look into any crevices without invading anyone's privacy. So I'm not gonna look into any apartments, of course, but what about this, uh, what about this alleyway? An alleyway with some trash, is that a hidden spot? I guess not really. <laughs> All right, let's not screw around. Reminds me of that South Park episode. Don't screw around. Ah, oh, the Herman Miller store. Why did I cross the street? I wanna see the Herman Miller store. The best part about the Herman Miller store is the plants. Don't believe me? Watch. Best part about the Herman Miller store is the plants. They got cool plants. I know, it's so far it's not too amazing. But like, look at that thing. I've never seen that one of those so large. I mean, they're fiddle leaf fig trees, okay. It's a ficus actually, not a fig tree. But look at, look at these succulents here. Massive succulents. There's a mirror back there, can you see me? Can you see me in the mirror? Ah, Big Dog is here too. Now we're really, really all here. A lot of us are. I'm sure there's always somebody new we'd need to have. Our new friends are also an exciting thing to join us. Oh, actually, let, let me finish crossing here before I get run over. Still haven't gotten in the way of the cars. The light's not green yet. Okay, we're safe. I'm gonna go towards Union Square because uh, I think the market should be coming up today. Yeah, those are some like roided out succulents, right? They're pretty massive. I don't know if it's uh, the, the goldfish theory where they only get as big as their tank or, yeah, theory. I don't even know if that's true or not. I'm not sure. Sucks on roids, yes. Yes, strawberry fields. Exactly. Thumbs up from UK iJaw21. Two thumbs up to you. I'd give you three if I had a, if I had a third. Hmm. Uh, New York is so wise to see it all in one day. Well, it depends on what you mean by one day. I mean, you can't see all the attractions in New York in a day. You can walk around the perimeter in one day of Manhattan. Why don't I do a walk around movie filming locations? I mean, I guess I could. 
in a way, almost everything in New York has been a filming location, but I understand there's more iconic ones than others, so we probably should. Maybe we could do it based on theme. Like one day we'll just do like Marvel or superhero th movie themes or classic films or something like that. Maybe. That could be a good thing to try. Someone will hold me <laughs> to it if I forget. Salt Bay is here. I mean, they really took it and ran with it. I really don't know that I would eat here unless maybe <clears throat> Salt Bay himself were here. But he's on every single window and door. Every single window and door. Otherwise, it looks pretty standard inside. Actually, kind of looks like a Shake Shack. Where are the best places at Christmas time to visit in New York? I mean, you're you're gonna have to walk down Fifth Avenue between like 34th and 59th Street, really. All the stores there do holiday decorations. Saks Fifth Avenue, Rockefeller Center with the Christmas tree. Sixth Avenue also puts up really oversized Christmas decorations in front of their buildings. So pretty much both Fifth and Sixth Avenue for free to walk around. And I think some areas in Central Park are also decorated. That's from the top of my head. I'm sure there's more. Some museum in Germany runs with, if you stop at each exhibit for a minute and do that from opening to closing, it might take you six months. Wow. All right. Looks like most of the shops are up. Oh yeah, Bryant Park, of course. Yorkville Walker, Bryant Park and Union Square Markets, absolutely. Yes, those are good. They put up uh, little shops. A lot of cool stuff going on at Christmas time in New York. Yeah. I mean, it's barely 8 a.m. People are already, all the, sh all the shops are open now that are gonna be here. Let's do a full walkthrough. So I'm gonna go to the end and turn around and we're gonna go all the way through. Is this the same seafood that's on the other side usually? One of the seafood trucks here, uh, or seafood stands, tends to have a very big line out of it. So if you want fresh seafood, one of these places is the way to do it. So this is the beginning of the market. We'll start over here. We'll go through it to get the sea, sea tuck fish. Some very well-placed tomatoes. Flowers. Big Dog let us know Salt Bay's real name. It's a Turkish uh, chef, enter, entertainer, and a restaurant. That makes more sense now. He's an entertainer as well. Or did he become an entertainer after he became so famous? I'm assuming he was doing all that salt stuff before as an entertainer and chef. Jim Haddis loves the GMC truck. Van Houten Farms. Yeah, Lucky Dog here. I guess Lucky Dog Farms. Big Dog's brother, Lucky Dog. Ray Kelly likes the market. Yeah, it is a nice market, right? It's here several times a week. I forget the exact days, but Saturday's probably the biggest out of all of the uh, days that it's here in terms of busyness and all the stores, stands being open. And it's a fun place to look at plants if you're into those. You know, this webbed cactus looking thing. How close can we get to these? We still have good focus. Pretty close, pretty close. How are the other plants in here? We take a look at all the plants. I always take, keep an eye out to see if they have carnivorous plants. They usually don't. Those are kind of hard to um, manage. Oh, feels. Sometimes these are minty, but not that one. They do have some other succulents here, of course. Ooh, living moss. Living moss, four dollars. Nick Purple Purple wants to know why the UK sucks so much during Halloween. I couldn't answer that. Maybe somebody else in the in the UK has more insight on that. Strawberry Fields still looking for carnivorous plants. A carnivorous plant nursery. I think .com or something, if you just Google it. I've ordered from them before and I've been more than satisfied with, uh, with how they deliver things. 
is there such a thing as dying moss? I guess there could be moss in the state of dying, but uh... Oh, this is cool. There's a, there's a no pesticide uh, stand here too. Wow, are these uh, like peas? These are pretty big looking pods. They got some narrow looking eggplants too. Cool. Wait, did somebody say Adam had mice in his air conditioner? I don't know if that's the exact site, Lisa. It might be. I'm pretty sure the nursery is in the name that I ordered from, Carnivorous Plant Nursery. But maybe that one also has some. I don't know. They got lamb, yarn, from the Casco Merino Sheep Farm. They got a wine company here from Anthony Road. Horse, oh, homemade horseradish. That's probably interesting. I like horseradish for certain types of foods. Wait, what, Norel, what do I have to get out? I might have, sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Remind me. Adam has something alive in the AC. Come get it out for you, that'd be a fun stream. That might be my last stream, depending on what's in there. Oh, that's what I'm doing? That's what Norella's wanting me to do to remove Adam's uh, Schrodinger's rats or whatever's in there. <laughs> so we're going through the full market. Various uh, moonshine. They got moonshine here. If you didn't think they had everything here, they do have moonshine. Ooh, they even have their own uh, kimchi. They had maple candy here. Oh, and maple candy is always fun to have, actually. Maple candy. I don't know if you ever had that, but they're kind of fun to eat. Very sugary, of course, but... RJ would like some red leaf lettuce. I do, I will have to go to the grocery store later, but I don't think I can get all that stuff here. Some of it I probably could, but I also don't want to walk around with it. This is the fish stand I was thinking about. It usually has a pretty big line. Yeah, Gigi, I love kimchi myself. Yeah, this one's usually pretty busy, so this is the time to... Uh, to get your seafood. Yeah, they look pretty good. Ooh, they got lobsters too. But those look cooked, right? I don't know. Why are they so red? Anyway. Got squid. I'm not sure what kind of parts of the fish these are, what fish this is, but I guess that's in center for like soup stock maybe? Or something else, they got clams, they got everything. Oh, let's finish going through the market, sorry. They just go through the market. How much for a lobster? So the trick to lobsters in New York is if you want live lobsters, is go to Chinatown. You might pay like eight bucks a pound for a lobster down there. Andreas Stevens, right? Union Square in Manhattan. So around 14th Street to 18th Street or 17th Street between Park Avenue and Broadway, University Place. Yeah, Canal Street in Chinatown, exactly, Adam. That's the place to get your live lobsters if you're in New York. Or, you know, you can always go to, like, Flushing, too. But if you're in Manhattan and you need some live lobsters, go down there. And we've done the market. Market is done. Of course, there's also Whole Foods Market. They don't have a Half Foods Market that I've seen to date, but if anybody wants to open one, I guess there's a market for it. Oh, oh yeah, is this Sephora new? Didn't this used to be, what did this used to be? Century 21 or so, what does this used to be? Oh shoot, I don't remember now. Anya says, best place to get seafood is right off the boat. I guess it depends on what you want, right? Sushi is actually not best completely fresh off the boat and raw. I think they actually have to freeze it and let it sit for a few days. Otherwise, it's too tough, like tuna, for example, from my understanding. Or Forever 20, something was, I thought there was something there before, another clothing store, maybe. 
I thought. Crabs and shrimp, yeah, probably fresh. Ah, good summary of Ian Square, big dog. Big dog. Uh, a university place now. This area is very synonymous with NYU uh, undergrad campus. And then it'll lead us right into Washington Square Park, which is kind of the central hub of NYU. But it isn't just NYU, of course. It just seems to be hand in hand. Forever 21. Thank you, Fang. Yes, okay. I knew it was 21 something. I don't even know what Century 21 is. Isn't that like some sort of insurance place? I don't even know. Laura M says, half food market is Trader Joe's. Oh, so they already have a half food market. Half foods. Actually, Trader Joe's is much, uh, much cheaper than Whole Foods. Stefan Schober with the five euro super chat. Coffee and donuts. Hey, thank you. Stefan Schober. Abdullah, yes, I did. Century 21 used to be Jerry Anderson's company. Huh. According to Starbucks, pumpkin is the spice of life. Although I don't think pumpkin itself is a spice. Because when, uh, what is the spice in a pumpkin spice latte? Adam? Oh, Century 21 is a discount clothing store here, but everywhere else it's a real estate company. Aha. Uh -huh. Steven Luscom said it still stinks. Christina wishes you had a Trader Joe's. You have Walmart and Miger. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, we do have 5G internet in New York, yep. All Spice or Old Spice. They, uh, what do they, what do they call it in Thor? Old Spice, but what is the spice in Pumpkin Spice? Cinnamon? Ah, that's what Judy said. Cinnamon. Let's see, why is the sky blown? The whole point of the iPhone 13 Pro is that we don't get the sky blown out, right? It's pronounced Meyer. Ah. Thank you, Christina. Always glad to learn pronunciations of things. Stacks of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Hopefully not cloves of garlic. Sarah Reed, good morning. Metalhead Warrior is going to be back in New York in 10 to 12 months. Hey, exciting countdown. Oh, and pumpkin spice slice, the, the, the spice is 95% sugar. Brown cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and sometimes allspice. Adam worked as a cashier in Meyer. I mean, working in Trader Joe's seems like it can be pretty hectic. I don't know all the things that go on. There's like bells ringing, people got to hold up paddles. You got to like Tetris every bag. I don't know. Is that place always called Reservoir? I don't know, I haven't been here in a while. All right, what's the name of this place? Because it says coffee, bakery, and kitchen, but does it actually have a name? Mama, is it Mama? Is that what it is? I don't know. Maman? Oh, is that what it is? Is it one of those things where like, I can't read it, but other people can? because of the way, uh, it's like one of those things where you can't see a color, a number inside this bubbly background, and that can signal color blindness. For some reason, I can't read that. It's French from Mother says me, ah. How do you pronounce that, Maman? Or something? Lana Kramer's here. Всем привет from Moscow, is that Moscow, is that right? It's Moscow, yes, Moscow. Someone who failed their graphic design class did the logo. Thank you. Okay. I was hoping it's not just me that didn't have too much fun with that logo. <laughs> not that I'm any good at designing anything. Otherwise, ah, mama. Mama? Mama. Oh, as Amina and me, I almost have the same exact icon color. Just realized that. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but now it is nighttime. Daniel Tiger needs to get ready for bed. Hey, even Angel is here now. Angel, Mars and Worldwide. 
our saunter savior. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Narelle is reminding me that I still have not gone to a specific Australian coffee joint. I don't know if I'm close to it, actually. I'd have to find out. I'm also wary of coffee in streams. It'll, uh, it'll get me going if you catch my drift. Oh, Strawberry Fields asked when's the anniversary of the Saunter. I think people in Discord have said that's going to be TWC Day. I think it's December 27th. Hey, Stefan Schober with another five euro coffee and donuts for Sunday the next day. Hey, thank you, Stefan. Forever 21 also went back. Everyone went bankrupt. Hopefully I'm not next. Uh, yeah, so I think December 27th is also, yeah, Strawberry Fields. We meant to ask you. Oh, went the wrong way. The bike. Um, I think I see you idling in Discord, but you haven't been in there in a while. We were hoping everything's okay, so you're here in the stream now, so we're good. But, you know, curious about your Discord uh, activities. Andrew doesn't like the expression to catch my drift. What part of it puts you off? Is Grassidi still around? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a good time to mention Discord, too. If you're not in the Discord channel yet, and you're new, and you want to hang out and chat after the show, oh, Washington Muse. We got to go through Washington Muse, right? We have to go through Washington Muse. Why would we not go through Washington Muse? It's an amazing street. Ah, Strawberry Fields is job, interferes with the fun. Sorry to hear about that. All right, here we go. This is the Dutch house. Are these jokes over my head? Todd from Brisbane. Susie Q, if you have a coffee, we'll wait for you, just mute us. Ah, she's talking about the after effects. I didn't realize it was like one taller building here, actually. There's one taller building that looks like it might be a library of sorts, based on what I see in the, uh, in the windows. Maybe it's an NYU building. 14A, Washington Muse. Because it's requiring face coverings to enter, so I wonder if it's... Yeah, it's, like, it seems like it's an NYU building, I see NYU. Oh, this is the Institute of African American Affairs and Center for Black Visual Culture. You think they'd have more, more signage? More signage. Anyway, we'll keep walking through. I don't want to upset any of the residents of the block, but. And now, why is this one all boarded up? Is it for sale? Where's Dave? You can buy it. the sign be any smaller yeah i'm not sure well that sign just said it's going to operate remotely but i'm just surprised there's no other signage saying what that building was i don't know maybe they're nervous about it being targets or anything i don't know who knows there could be reasons probably one of the most instagrammable streets in new york city says strawberry fields yes while i butchered your name with my tongue yeah this and then probably that Water Street view of Manhattan Bridge, right, in Brooklyn. Ah, oh, Marcin was looking for hidden spots, yes. You were looking for it, here it is. Now, if I turn around, we're gonna be facing the sun, so it might not be, um, it might not be as easy to see, but the iPhone should be doing pretty well with that kind of, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and Dumbo, RJ, right. Angel, no, I'm not walking anywhere particular, I'm just walking around. I guess we're right by Washington Square Park. Can't ignore this place. I need to check my phone first. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna check to see where Bluestone Lane, Blue the Blue Lane, Bluestone, Bluestone Lane, Blue Lane Stone, Bluestone Blue. Mm. 
There might be one off of 6th Avenue. I don't know, we'll see if we get there. Lois Campbell, no, today we're just walking around. No commute, just the walk. If you're new to the channel, not just Discord, but check out our uh, other videos and subscribe for more content. This is Apartment House 713, Washington Square North. I wonder if anybody actually lives here. There's a statue in the back too. This is the Graduate School of Arts and Science back here. Kind of cool. Do it. Kill him now. Do it. Is Moon here? What happened? What if he had to try? Oh, I, I'm missing everything. There's too few chats on the screen for me at one time. So I miss things. But let's look at the arch. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of the inauguration of George Washington as first president of the United States. I wonder if the person sworn in as the last president will know that they're the last president. Who will be the last president of the United States? Nothing lands, uh, lasts forever. All right, too, too depressing, sorry. Oh, that's a cool little bike. <laughs> Ominous says strawberry peels. Yes, a little too, I went a little too far out there, didn't I? She just says, don't scare me, we're in odd times. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go too nutty because anything is possible these days. Just the Harry went where, where Harry met Sal Sally. Gosh, I'm tripping over everything. I don't know, actually. Maybe. We're at the fountain. The fountain's on, that's cool. Nobody skateboarding in it. But I want to look through the arch, because sometimes you can get a good view here with the uh, Empire State Building in the background. Yeah, like that. Not a bad view. Audi's here. The aliens will be here any minute. Yeah, that's possible. Strawberry fields. I mean, alien, I'm always hoping for an alien encounter of sorts, but I have my own problems. Norell reminds me for instance, yes, I just took a photo actually. Oh, Mrs. Commuter just told me baby commuter has a little diarrhea. I'm just gonna respond saying to make sure she gets a bunch of fluids. She's been having a bit of a fever too. You know, starting daycare. You get exposed to so many little things. Her fever was 102 this morning. Give her a little Tylenol. Susie, yes. Susie Q says, if we're on a morning on a weekday, it's going to be a commute. If it's in the morning on a weekday, for the most part, 90% of the time, it's going to be a commute. If it's a day that I happen to be off, we will we'll potentially walk around, but yeah. And Saturdays and Sundays, I don't usually commute for streams when I'm working. Yeah, I think so, Gigi. Strong refuel says, don't we all have a little diarrhea? Mia, thank you, thank you, Gigi, thank you, Mia, Mia. I mean, appreciate the well wishes. I think she'll be okay. If anything, our pediatric office is open Saturdays. We can always give them a buzz, but I don't think they'll suggest to do anything different than what we have been doing, but we'll see. I mean, uh, I imagine every time a new kid starts daycare, you get a uh, shotgun blasted with all these germs you haven't been exposed to yet. But I think it's also part of the growing up process, right? You gotta, you gotta build up your antibodies, and maybe, maybe that's why nature intended kids to be dirty, and eat dirt and grass, and put everything in their mouth. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Andrea. Andrew Ball said it would be a great photo. I think I took. Oh, I didn't take the one from this, from this side of the fountain with the water. Andrew, you're right. 
Steven says, part of growing up. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if it'll be, I'm gonna take a couple of views of this. I'm gonna take one with the fountain. I'm gonna see if I can catch the Empire State Building and the fountain and the arch. Yeah, like this. And then I wanna see if I catch one with the, with the fountain. Um, Andrew says the hygiene hypothesis. Is that a real thing? And one where the fountain is pretty much right in the middle of the arch. One tip I have is if you have a phone that has the grid. Um, yeah, and that's what she's been doing. Everything she puts in her mouth. Who's got to pee now? Yeah, well, thankfully, if I had to pee, there is a bathroom there right now. I don't know if it's open, but there is one. Um, before that, I don't know what I was talking about. It's the, yeah, Bonnie, that's pretty much what I think it is, too. Tired, too, so we're letting her sleep, but also being careful and making sure she's all right. Oh, yeah, and the other way we could look at is the, um, is the Freedom Tower, One World Trade Center, down this way, front right. This is Thompson Street, so you can see it in the back. It almost looks like it's painted into the sky. Hanya said your mom used to send you to kill, but that people used to have those um, chicken pox parties. I didn't have one of those, but I got chicken pox in, in elementary school. My mom said I diagnosed myself. She said I showed her a little, uh, a little thing on my wrist, and I said this is really itchy. It might be chicken pox, and it blew up from there. Caleb Fraser, good morning, Caleb. I'm gonna get get right ahead of you. This is what you want, right, Caleb? This is what you want. No. I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not aggressively showing you my watch. Dog run this year. Wow, this place is busy at this hour on a Saturday. I guess this becomes like a culture, right? Teens, no fun. Yeah, the older you um, I had whooping cough in high school. That wasn't fun at all. That was really <laughs> the dog looked at me and barked at me with my camera. He didn't like it. Caleb asked if we'll go to Midtown. We might end up there later. I mean, we tend to anyway. And big dog's channeling Owen Wilson. Wow! Wow! Uh oh! Angel's telling us we're two miles from um, Fra uh, Francis Tavern, which is the start of the Great Saunter. <laughs> Dog is triggered by paparazzi. Yeah, it's possible. Maybe he's trained to. Uh, maybe maybe he's a celebrity dog, owned by a celebrity who's had, who's had to train to. Uh, <laughs> Mm. Sway photographers away. Anyway, I don't know. Another impromptu saunter. I, I feel like I learned my lesson a little bit in impromptu saunters. It's it's like <laughs> it's not every day you kind of just decide you're going to walk 34 miles or whatever, 32 miles, or whatever it is now. And I think I, I learned my lesson about why you shouldn't do that. <laughs> but no, I think I'll do something like that again. <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson, I'm sorry. Ricardo, good morning. Well, so the interesting thing about the Great Saunter map is that it actually includes, the one that they created for the Saunter actually includes public restrooms. The question is, are they going to be open at that time? We ran into more than one closed one during the Saunter. And sometimes you just got to improvise, which we didn't have to do, thankfully. Now hiring FOH staff? What is FOH? FO staff? Anybody in the restaurant? Is that a restaurant business term? I think we hid in one of these during a snowstorm one time. 
front of house. Ah, interesting. Wow, more than one person knew that. I guess I don't know anything about the restaurant business. Wow, everyone knows that. See, this is why we have these streams so I could learn. <laughs> I want to cross, but I don't want to get hit by a car. I think we're okay. I have sea centers here. Yeah, I think once I understood it was front of house, now I kind of understand the roles they're looking for. I guess it also explained the roles right under it. I probably could have put two and two together. Oh, the Maison Oh. Ah. The Sound Maker Exhibition. Not sure what that is. Ooh. There's a Fay Da Bakery here. I feel like that's a famous bakery. Maybe not in just this location. Anyone have knowledge on that? What knowledge do you have for me? I don't know if I like the way when, when questions are presented that way in lectures. <laughs> what questions do you have for me? I don't know. Adam, Adam, he's our guy. If he doesn't know it, I guess we'll look on Google. Sorry, that's a bad chant. But yes, Adam is always our guy. Feel a style asked if I had breakfast yet. Let's walk through some of these smaller streets. Um, famous bacon Manhattan Veneros. Veneros is one of my favorites because I grew up near it. And uh, it'll be a frequent place for birthday cakes. I guess we were spoiled. As I mean, any kind of uh, lectures, I, I had to go for some training ones recently, not recently, it's been a few years now, but yeah, that's how they phrased it before it breaks. Is Susie Q head now? Don't feel sad you lost me, be happy you had me. Ah, we, we still will miss you. All right, we have to make sure Adam buys this townhouse. I've, we've seen it before, but now Adam has to buy it. Maybe with Dave. Yes, as I mean, it really is. I think the only way to get used to it is just to keep doing it. Look, they have a garage, right? Wow, it's like a compound in there. And they got an elevator. Hmm, nobody lives here yet, but it could be you, Adam. <laughs> Is there a big gay uh, ice cream in this, in this area too? I know of the one in the east, in the Alphabet City side. But yes, there should be breakfast ice cream, but I guess Maybe like waffles and ice cream? That's always a good combination. Oh, there is one in the West Village off of 7th Ave? That's cool. Wait, I wonder where, where's the original one? That's my favorite ice cream, I feel like. The soft, I love soft serve ice cream. I don't know if it's just me. Not everyone seems to like it. But like even those dollar soft serves from McDonald's, if their ice cream machines are working. I heard that somebody's actually investigating why you can never get a McFlurry so many McDonald's. Is that true? Let's cross the street this way. Oh, original is in the East Village, but it's closed. I see, Adam. Oh, lights changed. Sweet Green's an expensive salad place, but they are still pretty decent. Heisty. Yes, Azamina, that's the one. Oreo McFlurry is my favorite too. Well, Our Lady of Pompeii Church is here. 
Ooh, Venchi, they sell some fancy chocolates, right? Vietit is here with a stop sign. What does Norell see over here? What could be in the area? Matt Sears says McDonald's uses that excuse to not have to make ice cream. Ah, the cookies and cream gang. Yes, always cookies and cream ice cream for me. So I think this is Bluestone Lane. Should we get some? What do you think? Let's see if they let me in here without being too upset, but let's find out. Is anyone open? Are they open right now? Maybe it's a self-serve. Hi, good morning. I'm uh, live streaming right now and I have a few Australian viewers and they suggested I try the coffee here. <laughs> so I figured I'd, I'd try. Yeah, it's good, I can ask. <laughs> Anything you would recommend uh, right yeah, off the bat? If you're going for Australian, I would say flat white. Okay. Um, that's gonna be our most popular drink. It's a hot drink, but it's nice and cold outside. Yeah, be a good day for that. Uh, so that's what I would go with. We have it in a small, medium, and a large. I'll do a medium. Whole milk, please. Gotcha. You'll just like, you'll just like, oh, the cans. We also have, like, uh, cool. Thank you. Let's see. Let me face this like this so I don't have something to look at. All right. Uh, coffee. Coffee hot. You said it's the flat white? Yep. Oh, okay. And it's medium. All right. With whole milk. Add to order. And check out. Name is Gabe. Pay with credit card. Great, thank you. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, let's, oh, there's two doors. Let's, let's use this door. I'm gonna take a, a quick seat so I can uh, figure this out properly. Take a moment here. Ah, ooh, the seats are cool. Uh, meaning the temperature is is good for me. Oh, did I did I get a did I miss anything from Norel? Oh, it's on Norel with the Australian 799 super chat. Thank you, Norel. Very very kind of you to uh, uh, finance my coffee addiction by adding Australian coffee to the mix. Shari feels this is the first time you see me getting a cup of coffee on the stream. Unfortunately, or fortunately for most people, I'm, I don't really show myself eating. Oh, Ricardo also left their soup. Why can't I see everything? Oh, man. I'm sorry. Oh, Moon, Moon FXR just contributed to the coffee fund. Thank you, Moon. I very much appreciated. And Ricardo Y also contributed to 49 to the super fund. Thank you, Moon and Ricardo, also for your $5 donations. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm trying it right now. Okay. All right. Yes. 10 out of 10. It's, it's pretty much as she described it. It's like a latte with a little less milk. 
Which is good because, well, I thought like lattes and cappuccinos, they all have different milk ratios, right? So I guess it's like in between a latte and a cappuccino maybe. It's really good. New Yorkville Walker wants to rant about uh, cars parking in the bike lane. Yeah, that's... Casey Neistat did a video on that. Like a joke video where he would ride in the bike lane and purposely crash into things on it. Yeah, Judy, it smells amazing. What I think I like most about this actually is that they just gave it to me, a hot cup of coffee, but it's already drinkable. I don't know if you're like me, but I really can't tolerate hot drinks immediately. And usually when they give it me to them right off the counter, it's too hot. Even if I add my milk to it, it's still like really hot. But this is actually perfect. I don't know if that's intended to be that way. I'm not good at describing flavors. It doesn't taste bitter. Um, but I guess the milk helps with that too. Oh, I heard some sort of a thing that on the stream, somebody said that if you put a few sprinkles of salt into a black cup of coffee, it might actually, well, maybe that was in Discord. It might not taste as bitter. Is it fruity or nutty? I think it's a nuttier. Uh, uh, nuttier. It tastes like a morning dream or a nocturnal emission. Nope, let's not. All right, sometimes my jokes go too far. And this is one of those days. Oh, is that a Marge Simpson with flowers in her head? I just realized this looks like Marge Simpson. If it's that hot, the temp on the milk frother is too high. Interesting. Steck says every time I drink coffee, an angel gets its wings. Maybe not that far. I guess they were only here temporarily. Oh, it's a New York City Parks. If it's a New York City Parks car, I don't know. Maybe that's not as bad. But no, they should be the ones that really enforce it, lead by example, right? Even though a bike lane isn't a park, but you know what I mean. I gotta stop. Oh, Pieta, yeah, I guess it, w it went straight to my um, adrenaline, and now I'm just on hyperdrive. I feel like I haven't had a strong cup of coffee in a while. Maybe that's the thing. And there's a comic book shop here? It's bargain books, but they sell comics. Right over there. But I think that's March Simpson. We've done it. We've lured walking commuter, Mrs. Commuter, the partner of walking commuter, into the chat. All right, um, we'll probably walk a little bit now, so I don't have to sit here. Since you're not watching me drink coffee, it could be a little weird anyway. Not that anyone would enjoy watching me drink coffee. Or coffee, but I guess if it's from Australia, it would not be coffee. How would you say coffee with an Australian accent? I'm not even gonna try. Don't, don't get your hopes up. All right. Prodigy coffees across the street, I wonder how they are. Metalhead Warrior New York 22 with a 499 coffee and pastry on me. All right, if all of these go to coffee, I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna explode from all ends. Brain, other, other areas. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave that to the imagination. No, I thought it was pronounced beer based on what The Simpsons said, right? Remember when Marge Simpson tried to order beer? I mean, coffee on The Simpsons in Australia? She said, coffee, beer? C-O-B-E. <laughs> Sorry. I was submitting uh, something for a conference, Andrew. I don't know the results of it yet. I think we'll find out in spring. Or maybe when, there's some point, I know, some point in winter, because I think the conference is in spring. Anyway, we'll see. Thank you, Andrew. Didn't somebody say Jack, Jack's Wife's Frida is supposed to be a good restaurant? Do they have more than one location? I think they do, right? Or no? I don't know. Adam.
And I know Grey Dogs has more than one location. Adam said whatever was uh, in his air conditioner is now either out of it or dead. Again, I think this, the Schrodinger's reference would be appropriate at this hour or at this point. Wolfie says Aussie border is up, opening up again. We'd love to show you in this screen to the coffee in Brisbane. I'm sure it's better than uh, the coffee that they try to sell here, right? I do like a good coffee. And I am not disappointed by Blue Stone Lake. Huh. There's a restaurant here called Sveta. That's Russian. It's usually a shorter, uh, shorter name of the name Svetlana, like the nickname. I wonder how it is. If it's actually Russian, I don't know. But it means light. Svet in Russian is like light. Yes, Mrs. Commuter is a trooper for letting me out, I know. The baby's a little under the weather. So she's uh, holding down the fort. Does Adam know about the restaurant Svieta or no? No. Always curious if people know about these places. And Norell says life is complete. I know, you've been waiting for this, right? Now, what are some of the other ones? I think somebody in Discord wanted me to make sure I stopped by a specific apartment building in the Upper East Side, I think on 77th Street. I'll have to do that at some point, too. Uh, Adam does not know about Svieta. Well, I'm sad. How about the Tony Dapolito Recreation Center, Adam? Adam, you must know everything about the Tony Dapolito Recreation Center. I'm, I'm kidding. Of course. Corrito uh, <laughs> Snipes is back. Let's just let us know that uh, apparently all the politicians are in my pocket. I got something in my front pocket for you as the politicians. Why don't you reach in my front pocket and see what it is, the politicians. Then grab onto them just for you, the politicians. Um, all I'm going to say is at least it wasn't Turkish coffee. I think I would have probably climbed one of these buildings one-handed. Uh, actually, Lisa let us know about the... Uh, well, here's Shake Shack. I, I kind of want to go west. Let's go west. Are we still... Are we okay? Did I break the stream? <laughs> I think I broke the stream. Is there a pool here? Oh, they even have a pool here? Wait, this recreation center is... Uh, is more advanced than I thought. Daylight savings time for most Aussies here. Remember to turn your clocks. Wait, is, um, is that gonna affect who's able to join me in the mornings? I wanna take a look at the pool. I wanna get closer to it. The mob swims in that pool. Or is it like where they do practice uh, body dumps? You know, like make sure you put the, the, them in the water this way, in the bag. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. My, my arms are like shaking now. Wow, this looks like a pretty fancy public school, PS95. Oh, not everyone does it, Todd, in Australia? Yeah, I feel like all those time things should be all or none. Either everybody should do it at the same time or nobody should do it. And at this point, is it as important as it was back in the day for when it was first initiated? I don't know. But doesn't it just cause more trouble than it doesn't? But I guess it's all programmed. It's, it's too late now because it's programmed into all the devices wherever it happens, right? It's programmed into the cell towers and computers and all that stuff. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Kind of precise agrees. I'm so amazed at stuff, and then I add a, huh, 
at the end. That does sound like me. Interesting. Interesting. Is there a gym here? There is. I wonder which gym it is. It's a no-name gym, so it could be associated with the building, which just means the building is particularly fancy. Suzy Q reminds us, spring forward, fall back. Or just, uh, let's just not do it anymore. <laughs> Excuse me, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga? Oh, it's Tony Bennett's final studio out. That's kind of a sad thing. How old is Tony Bennett now? Gosh. Mia, good reminder, if you're new, do consider subscribing. because we'll probably soon be in a public bathroom. Ah. Is it already out for listening? I don't, I don't even know. I think uh, the thing people may not know about Lady Gaga is she's People may know, I don't know, I, don't, I feel like I wouldn't have known that, but maybe I'm not the super fan that someone else might be. Dennis says, Mr. Roger would say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes, and now it is nighttime, and Daniel Tiger needs to get ready for bed. That's, there's this book series about Daniel Tiger, and apparently it's made by the Mr. Rogers people. Ah, uh, sorry, he feels he has, says he has early signs of Alzheimer's. That's a terrible, uh, terrible disease. Oh, Tony Bennett is 95. Oh, I think this might be the new Google complex. Google, 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 Google. Oh no, buffer zone. Ugh. I thought we'd have a way to uh, debuff. Well, let me cross here quickly because I want to check out Google. We've been doing pretty good, right? So good without the goo, without the buffer, until you hit goo goo. Wow, I'm actually surprised I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wait till the light almost changes. It's not terrible. Okay, could have been worse. Hopefully, Speedify is doing something where it's uh, <sighs> bonding connections. Nick says it's not terrible. Jimmy Carter turned 97. Yeah, Jimmy Carter. That's right. What did I say about Lady Gaga? I don't think I said anything about Lady Gaga at that point. I think I was talking about the Google building, but I was saying Google in a weird way. I'm pretty sure that's the new Google building. Google. Strawberry feels 99, feels 97 today. Well, then the 99 is getting close to being true. Chance he wants me to be at Times Square at four or five today. Eh. Mm, not my favorite area. I feel like most New Yorkers would say that. Is what it is, right? Google, Google. Somebody wants some pigeon knees. Well, we should cross this way so we get a better view of the Google building from across the street. I don't see any cars. They're very far away, plus the light's changing. It's changed. Strawberry feels the right psoas muscle. Ilio psoas muscle is spazzing out. Those aren't comfortable, it's a deep muscle. You can do a nice psoas stretch if you can. And Julia says I pronounced Google with a clean Russian accent. Google. My grandma just went to Russia. We saw her off at the airport yesterday. And uh, she knows. Google or hey Google. Google. 
still buffering. Oh my goodness. I don't know why we're buffering here. Hopefully it uh, irons itself out. Is it any clearer now? Remember, we walked around the entire perimeter of Manhattan. I feel like the only real service problems we had were right in the beginning and all the way at the north tip of Manhattan. Uh, I was just saying my grandma knows how to say OK Google, but she says it a little bit differently. She says OK Google. <laughs> it actually works too. So I'm pretty sure that's the Google building, their new complex. They make us go up there. How can there be no connection to the Google building? All right, I'm gonna go to wide angle so we can take a, I'm pretty sure it's the Google building. Oh, sorry, if I set anybody's Googles off, I'm sorry. Okay, Google Alexa, Echo, Amazon. Okay, let me not do, sorry. Um, all right, so this is, I think this is the Google building. I have my other phone, but I have a coffee still. Steven says I'm remarkably perky this morning. Well, there's why. I think that's the Google building. Oh, you could run all the way down this, uh... Oh my gosh, I'm about to get run over. I'm about to get run over by this group of runners. So let me just pop over to the side. Let's take a look here in wide angle for a moment. Lisa says the London Google building is by the Regents Canal. Ah. That would be funny if high school was called huh school. Huh school? <laughs> but I think you meant high school. This is Strawberry Fields' is his favorite time in the year. I mean, I definitely see the appeal of fall. I prefer spring, which is kind of like the fall, just in reverse but I can see the appeal. And fall leads into the holiday season, which I think in New York is nearly unmatched. I'm sure there's rivals. This is all opinion. All right, I just want to finish this coffee and I can throw it out in one of those trash cans and then we'll keep moving. I wonder how, let's try to zoom in on the, um, on One World Trade Center, see what it looks like at 2X zoom. Pretty, 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 pretty good. One, one X, regular lens. Man, the skies on these newer iPhone, I think the, after the iPhone 11, maybe the 10, the skies just look like they're painted on. I really, it looks amazing. Lisa wants me to Instagram it. I should, I just gotta throw out this coffee. I have nowhere to put it. And as soon as I put it down somewhere, it's gonna fall into the river. I definitely don't want that. Just recycle it. Wet lab. W2 only likes fall if you're camping or taxes. W2, get it, get it, huh? Sorry. All right, I don't know if Google's Horizon mo monitor is correct. The grid is good. Turn on the grid on your phones because then you could uh, 
I think there's a rule of photography, like the rule of thirds. Is that correct? Rule of thirds in photography? Anyway, sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Okay. Let's move, move south. Is it tax time over here? No. Made me think about it. Big Duck says, that's correct. Yes, I'm right again. Yes. <laughs> Wolfie's enjoying me on coffee. Well, hopefully it's entertaining. My loss is your gain, or whatever they say. What time is it? About 9 a.m.? There's helicopters on all ends, I think. Tennis courts here. I'm pretty sure you have to reserve these. Maybe it's an online process now. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is one of the piers that Casey Neistat used to do a lot of videos running around when he lived in this area. Oh, you can see the Jenga building on the left corner of the screen. I got it, W2. I got it. I knew. I figured that. I mean, the only person we're... That might be true as Shields. I think Shields worked in some kind of a tax office or something. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. If only Shields were here to correct me. Did I study photography, Susie Q? I did not study photography, but Mrs. Commuter and I once did a, uh, a class, like a one-time class that took us to the High Line and they taught us how to take photos a little bit. And she's also much better at photography than me, so she always reminds me of these things. ABX girl is here. Says good to get the workout early. I'm sure you've been here already. I just, I'm just noticing. I'm late to the party. Somebody playing bagpipes? Bagpipe. What did I just say? I meant to say bagpipes. I might have said bagpikes. Shields is our resident tax expert. Correct. Correct, as the Miz would say. And Johnny Drip Drip. Sorry, gotta, gotta squeeze in some ref wrestling references. Big Dog will be proud about that. Big Dog. The Big Dog. Where is the bagpipe person? Ah, there he is. On my left. Is... Could there be any occasion that he's playing today? Marikoko Konbanwa. Sorry, my pronunciations are terrible in Japanese, but... Hello. Cool. Ah, yes, Lisa, you like the Hudson. Cool. Right, I remember now. Hassan Terrell says, I like wrestling. Yes. Susie Q got a two-year degree at Antonelli School of Photography in Philadelphia. Cool. Oh, you can see the Statue of Liberty in the distance. I wonder how well you can see it on the zoom. A little bit. I mean, I could zoom in more now, but it'll be digital. Let's find out. Not the worst. There were bagpipes, yes. Special occasion. Did somebody... Somebody uh, write it. Is it International Bagpipe Day? Gert is here to chew bubble gum and find Volvos, and I think Gert's all out of bubble gum. So, are we actually buffering? Uh oh. Oh, if I was hitching a little bit, usually happens when I switch cameras. Oh my goodness, Adam. It takes me a while to read Russian, but I think that you're asking, how am I going to get home with this amount of coffee, which I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to translate that last word, but I'm assuming it's, a, how am I going to get back without 
peeing myself, maybe? Uh, Alex wants me to say hello to your toddler, Pole. Hello, Pole. And you lived here last year. Very cool. Ah, I see. Yes. Who knows? But if there is a bathroom that's open on my left, I think there's sometimes a public roaming. Roving? So it'll be in the same place. I just don't know if it's open. We'll see. Ah, Shadow Ship is here. Hello. Shadow Ship is another uh, frequent contributor in the Discord, so Discord's always a pop in place. Do join if you want to keep chatting after the show. How's the gimbal battery? Not great. However, however, I brought I brought a uh, charger, a power brick with three holes. <laughs> oh, you mean holes? Buffer zone again. Uh-oh. Great band name, Warm Coffee Achievements. <laughs> that would be a great band name. St. Charles Spaniel. My mom used to have a, um, what did she have? I can't remember. The coffee is like expl exploding my brain. King Charles. Spaniel, I think. The buffering ended, good. A lot of buffer zones. Uh, I guess the river is a little, a little wonky. A new t-shirt, warm coffee achievement. Actually, that, that might not be a bad one. I really hope somebody's keeping track of these because I'm really bad at, uh, let's just say I'm supposed to be using a, a Trello board a lot better than I am. I really gotta get good at using Trello. I feel like it would solve a lot of problems. But I'm so bad at like thinking, oh yes, I should add that to my uh, meeting for this, whatever. I put it on the Trello. Ugh, Trello. The goat was keeping a running list. Yes, that's true. The question is, is he actually keeping it or is he just making up new ones every time? <laughs> I guess we'll find out when he gets here in February. The Tangled Cables would be a good band name. That would be a good band name, Susie. Tangled Cables. Getting closer to the One World Trade. Wayne, good morning. Everyone is running this morning. This is, I mean, if you're gonna go running on any day, this would be the in this location. If anybody remembers, during the Great Saunter, I sat here and had that uh, burger that Mrs. Commuter and brother-in-law Commuter <laughs> brought to me. I feel like the mask comes into Susie Q said, friends don't let friends wrap wires. Wire management, my ability to, to be desired. Another dog run here. The trees were empty then. Yes, it was December 27th. This dog run's not as busy as the Washington Square Park one. Is there a bathroom around here? I don't know. I feel like next time we see, we should try. Are we buffering again? Let's not do that. Let's just say no to buffering. Can I be a t-shirt Say no to buffering? Is there one here? No. Adam said one guy had a Michigan t uh, sweatshirt. COVID. W2 had a big buffer, now you're done. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I had a big buffer, now I'm done. <laughs> Sorry.
Joey, good morning. Pink Peonies here, likes it, hello. Adam sees a bathroom in the trees. If dogs can do it, why can't I, right? I'm July says the only thing to make this thing, this scene any better is a pug. Say no to buffering t-shirt, Andrew, enjo Andrew enjoys that. That would be a good one. Looks like someone's taking a little flight. Moon appreciates the floor pattern. Uh, is there a bathroom here? I don't think so. Actually, there might be a bathroom here. Let me see if it's open. Let's see if it's open. It might be open. If it's open, we're going to check it out. Well, not on video. <laughs> I'm going to mute and blank out the video so I can use. Yes, it's open. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a pause. Let's appreciate the coffee we just had and uh, allow it to exit. It's like uh, Marie Kondo, right? You have to say thanks. And then I'm, so I'm going to blank out the video and the audio. And I'll be back in, uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, mic off, camera off. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. The one-handed experience. Yes, I, I did see some comments, even though my screen, the screen was blanked out. Yes, one hand, wash hand, soap hand, dry hand, out. Yeah, that... <laughs> I probably should not have said the one-handed experience. That, that's definitely... That's too much. I mean, I can't really set the camera down anyway, anywhere. It's already, it's plugged in. I have all these wires coming from it. Uh, anyway, let's, let's, not, let's not go into the logistics of one-handed bathroom use. Altice building. Just haven't said one minute too long. Should have been faster. If only. Maybe one day I'll wear a Texas calf during the commute. Shadow ship. I think we, we are prone to, um, you know, kind of like in Disney movies, sometimes they sneak in jokes that's more meant for adults that the kids don't get. Sometimes we try that. <laughs> sometimes we try it. Martian Curl says I sound a little broken. Are you heading out because I'm broken? I'm sorry. I'll fix myself up. I need a tune-up. Either way, it was good to have you. W2's got to unload and reload the washer. This is not that type of channel. It's whatever you want it to be, as long as we're having fun at no one's expense but my own, or Dave's. Dave is not off limits. He, ex he chose this and accepted it, and I think he thrives on, on it. So where is he anyway? Must be golfing. No, you guys got rain all over there, right? Or is not the whole, not the whole of the UK, right? I don't know. 
unknown challenger. Am I in the water? Practically. I don't think anyone's too upset about it in Nippur. Hopefully not. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, maybe we should have a just a merch channel with ideas for for t-shirts and stuff. You know, why not have things that people actually want to wear and contribute to the. You know, you know what I mean. Like, why, why put stuff out that I like? Why not people make the clothing they want to wear, and then we'll just have that up there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go that way because. Moon is down for a wow shirt. Can we? Can somebody draw like a pretty good caricature of Owen Wilson that won't get us uh, in trouble? Uh, like almost doesn't look like him, but could look like him. <laughs> Saying wow, probably not. I don't know. Seems risky. Robert grabs his head nap. Robert, thanks for. Shadow ship would wear the I Love the Walking Commuter Channel T-shirt. Hey. If you'll wear it, I'd be happy. Hopefully you'll be happy too. We can mail some. All right, strawberry fields. I don't know. That was a typo. I think. No, I know. I'm just kidding. One, uh, one hit experience gloves. I think it went to my feet socks. That actually would be good. Saru. That would actually be pretty good. Although, I mean, I'd want the gloves to be heated to mimic my winter experience. No, Melina's having a Vegemite bagel in my honor. Strawberry feels you gotta clean your keyboard. It's uh, causing too many typos. My controls key is acting weird. So now, I've, instead of Control C, Control V, sometimes I just get a V and a C pasted into my boxes. Anyway, I gotta clean that out too. When it's a clear sky like this, one world trick can really blend in. Oh, speaking of those compressed air cans, I actually bought one of those. Um, there's one, they sell them on Amazon. They're just AC like blowers, almost like a leaf blower. But I feel like those don't waste as much as those. I don't know. I don't know if those compressed air cans are. But. I, I take a blower in one hand and a portable vacuum in the other hand, and I just kind of one time. All right, you know, you guys get me to say these things. Text. All right. Can we not? Gigi uses those cans to clean the inside. Yeah, it's kind of what they're meant for, but I, instead of using like mini leaf blower kind of things that uh, that uh, just AC powered. You got some lag? I wonder if it's the Spence. Hopefully it's okay now. I don't remember this area having too much lag. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, now we are getting buffers. Goldman Sachs is on the right, says Jack. Which building is it? It isn't like a really gold building. Uh, I don't know where it is exactly compared to here. Anyway. Let me try to cross here so we don't wait too long in the buffer zone. Even though I didn't have the light, I wasn't blocking anybody. Don't worry. Oh, this one, right?
It's an LJ fighter. The t-shirt should be, I survived. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. Ooh, I like these lights. They kind of let you know that there's something going on here. All right, things are a little bit confusing here. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like there's a lot going on. Is Tom D live right now? Yeah, me, it's done. I've, uh, I've come to terms with it now. I think what they're saying is that the bikers should run over anybody on rollerblades. I mean, I don't know how else to interpret that. I don't know. Oh, this afternoon. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to tune into that also. I'm, uh, fingers crossed for a gimbal. I believe. Oh, is it tomorrow and not today, says Mie? Oh, he's doing it today. Oh, there's a confusion, it seems. We'll sort it out, right? We're right by One World Trade. I'm gonna do a shot from the bottom. Moon says, new member, which, who, who joined us? Uh, Shelly Ann, is that true? Is that what happened? I'm trying to scroll back and see somebody else said Shelly Ann, welcome to the family. family, so welcome. Appreciate that, Shelly. Let's look at the One World Trade. Thank you for your support. Oh, that's as far as the gimbal goes? Okay. Gotta angle it. I want it to go lower faster. Come on now. Janelle says it's definitely today. If you support Tom on Patreon, he sent out a message last night saying it would be today. Okay, okay. Unknown challengers appear. Go inside and turn. Ah, probably won't go in it today. I don't know what the service issues will be like in there. But I do highly recommend it. I have gone in. And I'm pretty sure the elevator ride, if I remember correctly, is a whole experience too, where they show you the history of this uh, area. area. Angel's here. He's remembering that we're close to uh, St. Uh, Francis Tavern. Or Francis Tavern? Just Francis Tavern, not St. Francis? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Um, it's somewhere over there, right? I could just check on my phone, but I also just like doing this. I think Brookfield is around here. The uh, a mall experience, kind of. What is that? Some kind of a little coffee shop. Those croissants look good. Huh. They got a place called Gussie? I'm only, I'm only kidding. Groovy Grandma's here. Hello. Yep, here's Brookfield Place. Um, they don't always like you filming in there. I think it depends on the security guards there at the time. I don't know. Adam says to stalk Tom and do a forced collab. He may think I'm a weirdo. Well, I'm sure if he's seen any of whatever we do here, he already knows I'm a weirdo, so it would be expected for me to do this. <sighs> I'll ask him to tell me a joke. No, I'm kidding. I am joking. Thankfully, I don't have to make people laugh all the time, I'm sure. I mean, it can, it can get tiring. Like, if you have to be on all the time, people have expectations of you, you know, to be a certain way, and... 
I don't. I have a feeling that's partly what weighed um, so heavily on Robin Williams. I don't know. I don't want to get too depressing. Sorry. <clears throat> Groovy Grandma walks. Says, I'm not a weirdo. I'm just special. That's true. If anybody should be walking with a helmet, it's probably me. Kidding. Take no offense. I'm just joking around. Anyway. Oh, the church lady. Isn't that special? Hassan Terrell says, uh, GTA 5 game on PS3 is bad. Did they actually release GTA 5 on PS3? Is it that old? Wait, what, what's my, um, my Comic-Con outfit? I might have missed it. Oh, the helmet, just walking around with a helmet. <laughs> oh, my, my wife freed all <laughs> Shadow ship. I don't know if I go that far. They should have a bald James Bond, though. I agree. Bald people shouldn't be villains. Only. Let's make Lex Luthor a good guy again. Make Lex Luthor great again. Take a left before the Marion Albany Street, right on Greenwich, left on Rector. Well, this is Liberty Street. I don't really know where I am anymore. But I'm going to cross while there's no cars. Maybe commuter needs a helmet. Oh, she's getting dangerous, too. She's cruising, flopping. I think she's starting to learn, though, about not hitting her head on things and that it doesn't feel good. So that's good. It's all part of the process. Well, I should probably cross soon because if I get too close to the tunnel, I get, it gets harder to cross over there. So maybe I'll cross over here. Will I be working later today? No, no work for me today. I'm just going to relax. Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> Send it to the internet. Ah, it's sunshine after rain here. Hello. Welcome. I took an Uber yesterday and now Lyft is sending me push credit, uh, push notifications. Come on. Shelly Ann's also at home, no work today. Good. Hopefully everyone who's having a day off gets a nice, well-deserved break. Pink Peony's totally down for the double entendre merch line. That'll be good. I, I don't know. Hopefully somebody's keeping track of whatever nonsense I say because I'm not. I don't know which way the cars are going to go. I'm going to go to the middle because this is a very long street and I don't see any cars turning yet from anywhere else. <laughs> Susie Q says, baby rules are eat dirt, bang your head, you'll have a healthy life. Yes. You don't want to be too sheltered, otherwise you grow up wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Mie also enjoys the double entendres. I don't know how to pronounce anything in French. I'm sorry. Do not distract officer in the booth. Oh, and I'm probably recording a video. My account is distracting. Let's not cause any trouble. But I wonder what his actual job is in there. Because he looks like he's just looking at his phone, so I don't know. Oh, what is this squirrel doing out here? It's got to find its uh, way back up to the park. Okay, there's some trees over there. All right, good. Unknown Challenger says I got no filter. I mean, I'm not trying to go completely off script. There's no script. I'm not going completely nuts here. I have to uh, maintain some decorum. Nick, Nick, aka Purple Flurple, asks, what if he's easily distracted? Hmm. Hmm. Here. We'll keep moving. Buildings. You go with the flow, GG. That's what we do. And I think we like it. Abdullahi is surprised the squirrels aren't fat. They're going to fatten up as the fall continues in for the winter. 
Andrew's really enjoying it. Hey, glad to hear. Shelly Ann never gets squirrels. Well, that's why you get to see him while you're here. So we make a right here. I'll be good. We can cross. We're on Albany Street now. Yeah. Well, this is Washington Street. I think we're supposed to go to Greenwich Street from what uh, Angel said. I am Lollapalooza wants me to chill out with the coffee. Is this a Bentley? Is Wolfie heading out? Hey, good to see you today, Wolfie. I feel like this is a cheaper Bentley if I had to guess, but probably cheaper relative to a, an expensive Bentley. Uh, Julia asks, I think, how much longer we're going to be going. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So far, the battery looks okay on all my devices, I think. Nick's dog is pretty violent when it comes to squirrels, it would seem. Also, I don't think I can post any more photos to Instagram. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm on the Android 12 beta or whatnot, but every time I try to add photos to a post, it crashes. So there's that. Ronald says the Bentley Bentega. Oh, somebody wanted, didn't, uh, didn't Damien want to buy a New York uh, Police Department shirt? Looks like some of these gift shops sell them. Shellyanne gets raccoons. I think raccoons are probably a little bit more rambunctious than squirrels when it comes to your tr digging through your trash, right? <laughs> Andrew thinks it's time for another coffee. I mean, I don't know how much more I can handle at this point. Oh, there's so many little Marriott hotels around here. Norell's son has that shirt. Ah. All right, so now it's, oh, this is Rector Street. Where's Angel to direct this? Oh, yeah, Damien, all his kids have birthdays around this time of year. And he always puts in so much effort too, uh, Damien. You know, he like, they go to sleep and he, and he puts up balloons and signs. I think he's a really great dad. Left on Rector, I can't go left on Rector. Rector is, uh, Rector is constructed, under construction. Correctly. Wogies, Wogies, Wogies. <laughs> Fang can send Shelly Ann a box of squirrels. Not sure about that. Oh, yeah, Pace University's down here. I forgot about that. All right, well, I can turn left here, maybe. Right, Angel, since Rector was off. Might have to make a loop, though. Gosh, I don't, it's also hard to see with the sun. It's a big garage here, though. Pieta's husband does all the balloons. He's 6'7". Yes, that makes sense. Anything above the halfway mark between the floor and the ceiling is his territory. Do I, am I really talking twice as fast as I usually do? I feel like I'm a little amped up here, but could be worse. I don't know. All right, so we made we avoided Rector Street by making a loop. But can I keep walking down Rector Street? Looks like there's still some, some construction going on. What is that walking path? I can tell I'm easily distracted from whatever I'm currently focusing on, though. He's a top shelf kind of guy, right, Piano? I understand. Imagine you could play my live stream back at 2x speed while I'm live. Wouldn't that be something? It reminds me of Kramer on coffee. Oh, have anybody seen that Futurama episode where Fry drinks like 100 cups of coffee because he, I think he won some free coffee or something? And then time slows down for him. Up. 
Adam's making Rector Street jokes. And Rector, okay. Wait, did I go backwards? I feel like I was supposed to not go backwards. Peter, yes, hello. You're here. Yeah, I can. I can't understand Spanish when it's spoken at its, at uh, I guess normal speed. I always have to say something like "más despacio, por favor," or something. Are there any skunks or raccoons in Central Park? Raccoons. We 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 confirmed it yesterday. Not yesterday. So Wednesday. We confirmed it Wednesday. We saw raccoons, a whole family of them, in Central Park. There must have been like 15 raccoons. Skunks, I'm not sure. I haven't personally seen them. Holy moly. Uh, actually, let's go to Wall Street since we're here. I feel like we're getting close to the tavern, right? There's no turn on red in New York, so I don't know where he's going. Anyway. I think Peony enjoys when I'm amped up. I'm glad somebody does. All right, Wall Street. Where the streets are walls and the walls are streets, Wall Street. Doesn't make sense, but here we are. Why do I say the things I say? Because of too much coffee. What are these songs we sing today? Again, it has to do with coffee. I'm no Wayne Brady, but if I was, I'd be only 1% of his ability. Uh, there's an Equinox here right on Wall Street. Looks fancy. Push car, yes, Saturday. I gotta, I gotta check myself here. I've already wrecked myself. See, Adam. Ah, I don't even want to go there. I was just saw uh, Broad Street and I thought about if the other street intersects, but no, we shouldn't. I did I have coffee this morning as well. Well, I've been up since five, Adam, so yes, I have. Oh yeah, we should take a picture of some of these buildings. Or not a picture, but a video at least. Stock exchange. Lisa, I think it's all the buildings. The big buildings probably mess with the, with the service. Oh, Adam, I think you understood where I was going. Yeah, that's why I had to stop myself. Let's go to wide angle while we're standing. Ah, shoot, what did I just do? I hope I'm, I didn't break the uh, autofocus. Oh, shoot, gosh. Okay, we're back, don't worry. We're back. Do not adjust your televisions. Pushkar, yes, you thought of me. Maybe you summoned me somehow, I don't know. But here we are. Are we still on manual focus, auto focus? Yes, good. No, I think we're okay. I think I might have gone a little too far off axis. Uh, like I went into a weird position where the, the balancing is it perfect, but I think we're okay again. No, no, I got my, um, I got the power on here. I mean, I guess the motor could be overheated too, but it's not so hot today. All right. Um, Angel, where is the, where's the Francis Tavern? I feel like it should be around here somewhere. That, that might be the last one I, place I specifically find today, just because I don't want to be away from the family for too long. It's very close, okay. Oh, it's pretty far south of me. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. It's in this direction. I think it's on this street if I just keep going this way. So, okay, fine, we'll walk this way uh, for a little bit. And then maybe we'll walk by the East River going north. Yeah, let's do that. 
what church did you just see? I'm not sure. We just walked by the stock exchange. There's Blue Bottle Coffee. We were at Blue Stone Lane before. Is there an Elizabeth Gardens here? I'm not even sure what that is. Well, there's a Hermes store here for your fancy shopping experiences. I'll ask someone to walk with the baby one day. I might, if I can, when she's old enough for like a backpack style uh, carrier, maybe. Because if she's in the front, she grabs everything in my hands. <laughs> it won't go well. Oh, did I walk by, I walked by Trinity Church before, like a little while ago. It's been, it's been a hot minute. Lehman Manhattan Preparatory School. Sounds like you might have to pay a bit of money to go here. If I had to guess. Whoa, they're gonna really make a giant building here? How tall is this place gonna be? It seems like it kinda doesn't even fit in. like gold trim and everything. I don't know. This is going to be a very tall building. Very tall. Yeah, Angel, I, I checked Google just to be sure. I hadn't seen you for a minute, so I wanted to make sure I'm in the right direction. It's the last place we're probably going to officially go to before we start walking back up the river. But let's see. Somebody had a large coffee cup. I mean, sometimes you just gotta go for the big ones. And here's Starbucks. What did I say just now? Um, yeah, Starbucks. Oh, is Doug heading out? Doug, all right. Thanks for stopping in. School fees are $79,000 a year for that school. Well, that's more than daycare now, so I guess. Dog, not Doug. I was making a reference to uh, American Idol. Oh, I think I see the tavern. Is this, is this WeWork's main offices or something? Or is this just a WeWork location? Anyone know? I think it might just be a WeWork location. Maybe not. Somebody can let me know. Is that King Kong? Hold on a second. Why is there like an orangutan or something over there? Anyway, the tavern. It's just a location. Got it. Simply a location. Lawrence enjoys We Sleep Better. Communal sleeping areas. Or something. I guess those are hotels, kind of. All right, let's not. Aha, where's Angel? So the start of the great saunter Cy Adler, right? Is that right? Angel? He's right here. And then you start from here, and then you walk all around the perimeter of Manhattan. 32-ish miles. Probably not the thing to do on an impulse. Um, a great bridges walk starts up near like the Washington, George Washington Bridge, I think, right? Oh, did Hairy Bar and Urbanist have drinks here and live streaming last fall? That's awesome. Maybe I'll join them next time. Mel Smith, uh, there's definitely been a lot of dogs. I know we saw them in the, um, in the dog runs, so they are, they are out. I guess we haven't seen them getting there. Oh, is RJ heading out? Thanks for stopping by, RJ in Colorado. 
I like that you mention every time you're from Colorado. I can never forget now. Maybe that's what everyone should do. I'll try to remember where everyone's from. I have a general idea of a lot of folks. Um, but who knows? Could, could learn more. Is that another old Mercedes? Classic. 280 CE. Classic. Go left about a block away for the Queen Elizabeth Garden. Uh, oh, Adam, Adam is from NYC. Adam is here from NYC. Oh, okay, so I can walk by the Queen Elizabeth Garden. It's on the way. Yes. Mel? Mel, 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 Mel. Not Australia. Not, not you, right? I don't know why I'm getting that in my mind. I know I'm going to be wrong. Yeah, I think I see where the garden is. Yes, I was right. Yes. Yes. Score one from me. I'm actually not that excited. Like, I'm not really good at celebrating. So it's an, for me, it's like an exaggeration anyway. Anyway, um, can I get through here? Let's, let's thread the needle, as they say. Thread the needle. Ah, I don't know what's happening. Why is, it, why is it ramping up? Oh, my goodness. Lisa says no more coffee. Yeah, that might be true. I don't know. Maybe I haven't had a proper cup of coffee in a long time. Maybe the stuff I make at home is like half-calf or something. I don't know. This should be it, right? Sunshine After Rain is from New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico Sunshine After Rain. Check out the monument at the entrance. Uh, where's the monument? Well, let me look at, let's look at the information here while we're here. So the India House is at one of Hanover Square. Architect unknown. But here we are at the Queen Elizabeth September 11th Garden. Marlon from Barbados. Andrew said it's a sewage truck. Oh, it's not one of those like gas trucks that supplies gas and it's taking stuff out? Well. Oh, Yorkville Lockhart, Adam or neighbors. Auntie Trish, ah. For some reason I have nothing coming to mind. Where is Auntie Trish from? Not Midwest, right? I'm probably wrong. Just tell me so I don't embarrass myself too much more. Where's the actual monument? Is there a monument somewhere? Tiger Lily, 449 pound super chat. Question. When, it, when not going for a commute, do I walk all the way back home after a stream or do I get a subway? I usually walk everywhere. Elaine is in Yanchip, Western Australia. The Australia part I might have guessed. Australia, are you kidding me, Auntie Trish? Why would I? Oh, oh. Well, sorry. At the entrance, well, which side is the entrance? I feel like there's a lot of entrances. Oh, Colleen, Colleen, I know you've said it before. Only one Mel. Many Aussies, but only one Mel. Colleen, I really don't remember. I, I'm just going to say Midwest for everything. At this point, just let's just be wrong every time. Is Stex heading out also? Stex, hopefully your finger keeps getting better and better. I know it's going to be a long journey. Have a good rest of the day. I want to see what that line is. Where are we? We're right by the Queen Elizabeth 
Uh, September 11th Gardens. Where, somebody said the monument is, is the, uh, Angel keeps saying it's in, at the entrance. Uh, where is the entrance? Oh, Colleen is from the UK or Canada is where Mia says. Yeah, Leah, let's all participate in some of these. If you think you know where the person is from. Oh, there's apparently a bagel shop here that I've never heard of. Cypress Island, Colleen, I never would have guessed. Wow, I feel like I've never had this bagel shop before. Good to know. Leo's Brand Bagels. Okay. All right, something else to try one day. Alex, Alexis Henry asks if Manhattan is located in Brooklyn. Nope, separate islands. All right, we're gonna keep going north. Rillo, hello. H-Town Andy, yes, still going. It's amazing what can happen when I don't have to actually go to work. Although I do wanna get back to the family soon, so we're gonna start walking along the East River a little bit. Looks like there's a fancy cigar shop over here. Not my bag, but some people might enjoy it. Never take the ferry. We did once to Roosevelt Island. I think uh, Lisa enjoyed that. Cigar shop here, Barkley Rex. Andrew says, uh, long queue for Leo's bagels, it must be good. You're probably right. Ah, uh, Hans is from Scotland. Wait, what are we, what's, uh, what was the issues with yesterday's stream? <laughs> Is it the, uh, the, uh, the, the crookedness? I'm still upset about that too. I too would like to speak with the manager. Um, who's gonna be... Maybe we should uh, make one of the folks in the chat the manager and we should all just complain to them. Uh, who, who should be nominated the manager? Let's say, or, or let's, let's give you a good title. Maybe like the executive producer near Cocoa Exchange. Dave or Lisa? Are we, well, since Lisa's here and Dave's not, I can complain to Lisa. Well, we should complain to Lisa that Dave's not here and then complain to Dave about not, him not being here when he's here next time. And then uh, Mie, you can sort it out between them. <laughs> Mike wants to be executive producer. Adam needs a special title too, of course. Everyone needs a special, everyone should have. The community is nothing unless everyone is here. Everyone contributes. <laughs> I'm not sure if I understand why it was rewritten when it's, I guess maybe the, the sign was down or something. Adam is CEO, got it. Everyone here gets a C-suite position. And we're gonna make Dave chief discord officer. There we go. His favorite thing. Oh, are they gonna be filming something here too? Masha's game. I don't know what that is. Angel's gonna play in a few minutes, might as well. My grandma always asked me to get a ticket, so maybe I will while she's in Russia. Uh, Mie wants to be chief operating officer. Done. Adam, I think, but, but in your case, I think every other CEO thinks they're doing something, but you admit to doing nothing, which means you do something. That's why you're better. H10 Andy is CFO. Finance here, uh-huh. Maybe it could be a co-CFO, because Shields is uh, all about them taxes, too. 
and Tay will never forgive me for making him chief discord officer. Well, them's the breaks, Dave. He might listen to this later, it'll be funny for him. Okay, just order people around, sounds good to me. Mie the enforcer. CFO is the hardest job. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Anytime money's involved, you got to save more and spend less, right? Earn more, spend less. That's the whole goal. Open to the public. What exactly? This random rectangle of emptiness? All right. Jack would move to New York if you won the lottery. Looks like Duncan is trying to lure people in with a sign in the middle of the street. Lawrence, what froze? Did the stream freeze? Hopefully not. Oh, we should walk through the seaport since we're here. Sorry, I just scratched near the microphone. That might have been loud. Narelle wants to be the coffee lady. Um, CCO. Chief Coffee Officer. H-Town and Shields. Okay, you'll share the role. Co-CFOs. Yeah, I have a feeling more people on that job might make it a little bit easier, right? Grubs Cafe. Two Bs. Owen Meyer, glad you enjoyed. Oh, there's a Revel um, Tesla. Revel made their own little ride-sharing service that's only with Teslas. Oh, me reminds us, only eight more, mi eight more likes to 500 likes. Sunshine After Rain needs a title, too. Hmm. You could be the chief meteorologist. I feel like I have to be a weather one, I don't know. I hope the word isn't full of worm the, the food isn't full of worms. Yes, hopefully not. As I trip up it again. I didn't do my uh, vocal exercises. I have never done a vocal exercise. Abdullah said she's the Inspector General, but for some reason I read that she's the Inspector Gadget, which I found funny. South Street Seaport, Fulton Street. <sighs> sudden. Why sudden? We've done it. We've top, topped the 500 mark. Yeah, it's a good time to remind you if you're new and you gave us a thumbs up and you're not subscribed or the reverse or one of those two is missing. Do think about it and then join Discord. And then tell Dave to join Discord. I mean, he's the chief Discord officer. How is he going to manage Discord if he can't even be there? I pick theaters. I think you can actually have uh, dinner and a movie here, which is a cool combination. Because they serve you at your seat, at least the ones uh, I've been to. Mike Keller wants to be chief watching officer, no problem. Angel says the quality of the stream is fantastic. I'm glad to hear it. The iPhone 13 Pro is doing its, its thing, thankfully. I thought there used to be like a sharper image store around here. I wonder what they're setting up too. Some kind of a fall thing. Maybe some shops. Pieta's still here, not missing a second of my nonsense. Especially after the coffee. At least until the crash happens. I don't know. We're gonna make the light. Let's go. Didn't block anybody, but the cars are coming, but we're safe. Okay. Oh, I don't know that we can fully go around. I think it's a dead end the last time I remember. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> purple flurple. That is true. Mighty Bull does do a lot of the 
watching and he could be like chief watching and chief three word officer too. Be a shared role. So we're doing some good exercises here. Uh oh, uh, that music is probably gonna be copyrighted. So I don't want to go through too far here. I'm pretty sure if I go there, it's gonna be a uh, dead end. We could try. I just hate backtracking. Well, let's see what happens. Jean Johnson, Jean Johnson from San Francisco. Hey. Ooh, Ronald is uh, having some internet issues. Hopefully that rectifies itself soon, but either way, thanks for stopping by. Mighty Bull can be surveillance. That could be a good one too. Pier 17. I wonder if they still connected the, they might have connected the road. I guess we'll find out. If not, we'll just go back, I guess. We got the Dean Ambrose here. No, it's just called the Ambrose. There's another workout group over there. Huh. One wasn't enough, have another. We lost Strawberry Fields. Unbelievable. Huh. Nick. Ah, you tried to add her and she gone. That's unfortunate. Hopefully she's all right. I thought it was diamonds for some of those advertisements. No, just... Johnson and Joel in Brazil, hello. Looks to be a sailboat up ahead. It's pretty windy though, I wonder whether sails aren't up. This is a good view of two bridges, three bridges. You can see Manhattan. Well, let's do it in order of what we see. Brooklyn, Manhattan, then Williamsburg. View. From this location. Look like there might be a sea streak over there or something too. Rich in UK is here, hello. Oh, Pieta, I'm, I'm a terrible human. Didn't get the song. Are we doing okay on the service at this area? I'm kind of behind the seaport. All right, let's uh, go around and see if the uh, we can get through here. I feel like I don't see too many people going backwards, so hopefully that means we can get through. Three bridges sounds like a beer brand. I'd try it. Oh, now this is an awesome setup. I just realized what, they ha what happens here at this restaurant. Look at this. Look at what happens with this restaurant. They have giant glass doors that come down. That's how they close it off. So they can completely open it up on a hot day and let the breeze off the water come in. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. They've. Uh, They've outdone themselves here. I think this is a rubber tree, too. Anyway, it might be, I don't know. Pieta said it's the coffee. Well, I guess you Australian folks wanted me to have some coffee. Have coffee we did. More bridges. View from this side. Ah, is that what that is, Adam? Can you get to the roof? Yeah, you can go on the roof. Um, they have uh, some sort of event space up there now. <sighs> Nick says that's definitely more than coffee. Yeah, it might have been, I don't know. Maybe that's how they get you back. Okay, can we get out of here? I feel like I didn't, I saw a lot of people going in this direction but not coming back out making it seem like there should be a way out, but I'm looking over here, there's no way to connect to that area. Rick, glad you enjoyed. 
I used to be able to just walk through the space to get back out. Um, if it's open right now, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't think it is. I don't think I can get through there, but. Sometimes it can go on the road. There should be a road, maybe on the road. Maybe if we take the road, we can get out of here. Now I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, all this is blocked off. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to walk over there, unfortunately. Well, we're backtracking. Okay. Oh yeah, there's some sort of heart statues up here, right? Oh, but I like these. Let me just take a photo here. Swimming an option? Uh -huh, I wouldn't. But you never know. Okay. Here's that heart. Tiger Poolies here. Hello. W2 wants you to bring a blow up raft next time. Probably be pulled out of there pretty quickly if I had to guess. I don't know. Wait, didn't we hear that before? From like a guy riding a Harley, that song? No? All right, I'm sorry. Coffee. Back at the restaurant. Oh, this one's called Pepas by Farruko. Okay, France, I'm glad somebody you know we have like our own, um, our own Shazam in the chat. I mean, if you're gonna jump rope anywhere, right here is the best place to do it. You got the view, the breeze, everything's right. Maybe that, oh, my microphone's gonna get all flopped around, sorry. Marlon, we're at South Street Seaport in Manhattan. Uh-oh, Adam's gotta go see someone about a dog. And Dick says, no one wants a floppy mic. Yeah, probably not, right? <laughs> Brian Williams is here, requesting a river jump. I'll save it for the next time. Shorts and a t-shirt, why not? I have a vest on, but that's only because I have a, my big battery bank and it's easier keeping it in a vest pocket. Otherwise, I'm sweating. See, we just have to walk all the way around because I'm pretty sure we're not really allowed to go in this area over here. Anyway. We're going to go back uh, up on the uh, East River going north. That's the plan. Oh, they're making them do burpees. I think a full, full burpee has to include a pull-up. At the, at the jump, so you have to jump up to a bar, do a pull-up. That's if you really want to end yourself. I can see that as being motivating, music. I feel the pump. I feel the urge to maybe bang out 40 push-ups. Why not? All right, let's go north. Chris Bates has been some time, but I thought I saw you earlier, earlier in the chat, right? Um, um, baby and Mrs. Commuter are doing all right. Baby Commuter's a little sick from starting daycare. Oh yeah, it is a very specific kind of flow of rap, right? 
the cadence is very particular, but different than it used to be. Joseph LaRocca and Sons. Shellfish and seafood. Oh, there's a perfect view of the Jenga building. Hold on a second. I'm not the Jenga building, the, uh, that uh, twisty building. What's that one called again? I always forget. But anyway, this is a good picture of it. Okay. Last time I went around here, they ain't got in trouble because I couldn't get back in. Let's see where this detour goes. Hancher said I got plenty of exercise today. Somebody I think asked what I had for breakfast like three hours ago, and uh, I never actually said it. I found this sort of some sort of like sausage stick from a uh, supermarket that I saw when I was there, and I said, like, I have to have that. So I just started cutting up pieces of that and eating it, and then I stopped, and then we walked. What am I saying at the moment, actually? Stefan, you're heading out? Thank you. You have a nice weekend, too. Always good having you here, and I know you supported us in more than one way. Appreciate you. Sausage on a stick is always a treat, says Adam. It was a stickless sausage. Ah, we're right next to a While we're watching. All right, should we go uh, hunting? How did the fence do with the service at that point? Because we were right up on that fence. We immediately got a fence buffer. That's amazing. And I guess that means Speedify is not doing its job because my hotspot should be on for my phone and it's supposed to be there to fill in the gaps whenever the phone service uh, pops off. Pops off. Was that enough beach view? All right. Is that more hibiscus? Do those, they still flower at this time? Because there's also a hibiscus imitator, but I think this is real hibiscus. Uh, w2, you have what we call Dave syndrome because Dave apparently has all these troubles with typing on the phone. Martian girl said it's bad to fence the shores. Mm. Susie Q loves that I love plants. Yeah, I do. I don't even know why. I think I just like life. Marlon have hibiscus all around your house. They bloom all year. That's a good thing to have them. Good to know. Ah, oh, Narelle, you're done. It's got to be late over there, right? Yeah, you have a good night. Thank you for sponsoring the uh, Blue Lane, Blue Stone Lane coffee. Pretty much under the Brooklyn Bridge in a little bit. Got a helicopter going. There's a lot of helicopter activity today. That's true, Susie, it is better. Isaiah Kennedy, 
don't think I said hello to you earlier, but yes. Hello and welcome. Ah, a more proper looking beach, but this one's always populated by birds. How many bird footprints there are here? I wonder how fast you get kicked off this bridge if you jump over and just hang out. Beach, I said beach, right? Oh, Strawberry Fields is back? Don't think people didn't notice you were absent. Adam was distraught. Distraught, I say. Ah, okay. You did mention it was spazzing out on you. Hopefully it feels better. side of the fence here. Mia Khan says, strawberry fields forever. It is a hard one to stretch. It's also, even if you know the stretch, it's a hard one to stretch correctly. Uh, am I on the wrong, wrong side of the fence here? Can I get out? I'm going to base it on that guy. I think it's a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. I don't want to have to climb the fence, so I might just go back out here. Yeah, we'll go back. Dead end. And now we're going to be right next to a fence. How are we doing? Right now, right next to this fence. I was on the rock side of the fence, and now I'm too close to the fence. Not bad, okay. We'll get past the fence soon. We got fence to fence. Let me put my fence shield up. The horde is verklempt. I'm all verklempt. Go, go, gadget fence shield. There's a lot of people even on the East River today. And it's still pretty early, right? It's only 10.30. James says to watch out. All the people might be running from zombies. You know, anything is a possibility. Shadow ship, I think, you know, they're they're building up their body heat as they run. I'm wearing a vest, so I already feel very sweaty. Hopefully the stretch helped out a bit. And I hope you're able to get through these physical difficulties. Those are never fun. Just yell at my body to cooperate. Cooperate! Wasn't that another SNL skit? Sweaty balls or something? Yeah, I got a power bank in my pocket. It's, it's, it's charging up the phone and the gimbal right now. Still auto focusing? Yeah, okay, good.
you could join the uh, East River workout area. A few machines here. I'm assuming that swing may help with the core a little bit. I don't know actually what the swing does. But all, a lot of these use your body to help you move a little bit. I think some of them might just use like a weird resistance in the spring too. Anyway, Mike, I think it's what, 70? No, it's still in the 60s. I think it's gonna get up to 70. It's 61 right now according to my watch. But night Nightbot should let us know also official weather. Fishing, fishing happening, of course. A horse is a horse is a horse, of course. Is that how that goes? I don't know. Bye, Bob Agrawal. Where is the Statue of Liberty? It's in that general direction through Manhattan. But we saw it earlier on the stream, if you want to rewind a little bit, when we were on the Hudson River side. <laughs> Adam wants to see the time on the watch now. Adam is chatting. on the screen looks really weird. Yes, this is the iPhone 13 Pro, Albert. Would I eat a fish that came out of this river? Um, based on the guidelines, I think I'm allowed to eat one a month at my age. <laughs> based on having those guidelines in general, I probably would defer. Adam, maybe you had some blue stain, bluestone lane coffee. Let me tell you, it has some effects. And not the channel. Yeah, Albert, we definitely got buffering, but hopefully it's a little better now that we're on this side. I mean, I don't know that it's technically HDR, I just know the iPhone Actually, I think the 11 through 13 iPhones carry very well dynamic range in general in the video. Moon is still waiting for the fishing stream. I still want to do it, yes. If we catch any fish, I'd probably throw them back for the fishing stream. I have one rod at home. I don't know why I have it, but I have it. W2's buffers last 28 seconds? That's really long. I hope that's not for everyone, too. That's borderline unwatchable. Sorry you're experiencing that. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, Adam. I think eating cooked fish from the river is already a, a concern. Raw fish from the river? No more commuting after that. It used to be that you could walk around there. I wonder if I still could get through. I'm buffering contractions. Well, hopefully we give birth to a buffer baby and that takes away all the buffering. I see some fancy cars in there. What is that one car? The first one's a Tesla. What is that? I mean, I don't use the iPhone 13 much for, except for streaming and work stuff, but it seems very fast. I do have Pokemon Go on it, unfortunately, and it loads faster than I've ever seen it load in anything. So I'm assuming it's quite powerful. Lisa says Lotus. Jim says Porsche. Moon says Ferrari. Vibuff says Rolls Royce. We got them all. Yorkville Walker, yes, it is a beautiful day.
butterfly. Oh, flew right in front of me. Oh, this guy is just string fishing. Interesting. We did walk by it, I barely acknowledged it, mainly because it used to usually make so much noise, but it barely made any today. I guess the train schedule on the weekend aren't as uh, involved. Yeah, in fact, Chris, if you were to eat sushi from the East River and you dropped it on the floor, it would actually be cleaner than when you dropped it. Looking at the Manhattan and Brooklyn Bridge the other direction now. Another workout group. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to get through this area. It used to be that you could walk through and get around. I don't think we'll be able to. But we'll try. East River Sushi would give you super powers, probably like one of those weird superpowers, like the one you might not want. Like your uh, nails grow really fast, but are still very brittle. Uh, I don't know if we would have got around, but I'm gonna try. Hopefully we can get through. Sometimes you can't. Hopefully today we can. The American Constitution. I never knew it was a ship. I thought it was a document. Is this like a mini cruise ship? Seems like the rooms have their own private balconies. <laughs> Almost a hub, but not quite. Adam, what's the deal? Nicholas Cage searching the ship for clues. He's got to find that national treasure. I hope we can get through here. I think we can. We'll find out. 86 more shopping days until National Lock and Commuter Day, December 27th. Scratch Christmas and Boxing Day. TWC Day is the true December holiday. Apparently, I don't know. Oh, that's right. This is the back of the Van Gogh exhibit. Oh, I, now I really hope I can get around. How many times can I get stuck? Hopefully no more times. This will be a long backtrack if I have to go back from there. Imagine this happened on the saunter. That would have been a terrible thing. After you've walked 20 something miles to have to backtrack is a terrible blow to your psyche. P. Karan asks, where's the Titanic? Well, I think we know where it is. It's not above sea level. I think we all know that. How many steps so far today? 17,353, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, okay.
I actually thought we'd be at a higher step count by this point, but I guess we're not. All right, can I get through? I think I can get through, yes. Good, I really didn't want to have to backtrack all the way. Andrew has done 15 steps. I have a friend who walks very little and I'm actually impressed at how few steps she's able to get in a day, just because it seems almost impossible. Like basically even just going to the bathroom. I guess if you don't have a watch on, your smartphone won't be as accurate, but you know what I mean. Peter's new favorite uh, phrase is gonna be pickle stroke. I mean, pooter. Seventeen and twenty K is a normal day at the hotel for Moon. I wonder what Adam racked up when he was in the hotel, stepwise. Oh no, we're gonna be by a fence for a while here. Definitely don't want to be there for too long. Maybe we should have gone out away from the river. I don't know. You were chained to a desk. Definitely can't rack up steps on a desk chain. I just want to make sure I'm not too in the way of the bikes, but this is a shareable road. And we're very close to a fence. Yeah, Christmas is like at this point, you got the smaller Halloween and Thanksgiving trains, and then you just got this gigantic behemoth Christmas train just plowing right through and destroying the other ones or something. Well, it looks like the phone is holding up well. The game is up. But considering we've been going for three hours, not bad. Now this is not the Saunter gimbal or phone. It is the ser same service though. But then that service deteri deteriorated on the same phone after a few months, I don't know why. Anyhow. So wait, you did a typo writing my name? Uh oh. I'm gonna have to scroll back, catch that, and then turn it into a running joke. Ah, uh, because I'm holding the camera pretty close to my left side to be away from the fence. And they pass by pretty closely, so it probably just looks like they're coming out of me when they pass by. From Italy, Marco, hey, glad to have you. I guess it's uh, getting close to the evening over there. Piera needs to rein us in a little bit. See a couple of folks on jet skis in the river. Almost past the fence area. I might take the bridge over and away from the river. Just because we've had a good amount of river time and uh, Hudson River time, let's get some more city time if we're buffering, especially. Now we got a super fence. Fence buffer, you get caught up enough. Does anybody know what commercial I'm referencing? Yeah, you're gonna 
That's my fire. That's my fire. Standing like following the road. Yeah. Did anyone figure it out? Crossfire. No. Crossfire. It was a uh, old game. Yes, LJ Fighter got it. Yes. Correct. Mike tries to skip commercials. Yeah, I feel like I haven't had many commercials in a long time. Because I don't, we don't have TV. I watch everything online. I mean, new Ghostbusters movie, I'll watch it, I'll give it a shot. Apparently all these movies just came out that I have to see. Coming out or came out. Free Guy, I want to see. Venom. Is the new Spider-Man movie coming? Sometimes I do that to myself. Somebody walks by me and they're having their own conversation, I'll try to answer it to myself as if I'm in it. Perhaps it's a line of a sign of deeper problems. New James Bond, that's another one. Yes, the last Daniel Craig James Bond, is that right? My shoes. They don't throw my shoes up there because it would snap the line. Oh, there's a lot of Spider-Men in that movie. Seinfeld's on Netflix now. Didn't they like upgrade it to widescreen, but by doing that they cut off the tops and bottoms of the screen? I don't know. Maybe they had actual film in widescreen still. Season one is a little different, yeah. Might not be for everyone. Well, we're out of the water area. I don't know where we are now. I feel like we've never taken that bridge away from the East River to go this way, but there we are. How's it going? Are you recording? There's a live stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. on the drain, but you know. We're by the Corlears Hook Park. That's on my left. That might have a bathroom in it too. Good to know. Oh, Simpsons, not Seinfeld, I got cut off. So is Seinfeld in four, four to three ratio, aspect ratio, or did they actually make it 16 by nine? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the guy was looking at. He was approaching random people, but I don't know what he wanted. But I saw him on his live stream, he said, okay, no problem. And he just kept moving on. So I have no idea. No idea. Mini Cooper, Mini BMW. Uh-huh. Mini van. Mm -hmm. We're buffering again. I don't have much I can do about the buffer here. We just got to get away from this area, I think. Cross. Let's go. All right, if we're buffering now, I'm going to try to move quicker so we can get out of this area so we're not buffering as much. Could just be a service gap. Wait, BMW owns... I don't have all those uh, vehicular relationships down. Moon... Either way, it was good having you. Top kick. I think we're still on the Lower East Side. This is the buildings are a little short for Stytown. Town.
Looks like I'm approaching Madison Street here. I thought it was a little farther north than that. I guess not. <laughs> Vehicular relationships, adding that to the list. Ugh, I don't know what I'm saying half the time, but I'm glad someone's keeping track. Are we really that far south, Madison Street? Huh. Not what I expected. Well, I guess let's turn right here. Uh, maybe not because it curves back to the river. I don't want to go that way then. Let's cross. Uh, interesting, Adam. Okay. I'll be mindful. But I uh, just try to stay away from the river. I feel like we've done the river already. Oh, we're Grand Street. Oh, yeah, this area could still get a little wonky in terms of getting through. Um, we have to like go under the Williamsburg Bridge somehow. Let's see if I can find my way. I think my friend lives around here. I think he's in one of these buildings, actually. Huh. What a world, what a world. We got Fine Fair Supermarket right here. I think that one's a lot more reasonable in terms of prices. <laughs> Nick's getting a t-shirt that says, huh, did I just do it again randomly? Ugh. That wasn't a hot, that was a ugh. Mie is asking us if we can reach 600 likes. I believe we can, because I think there's a rotation of people. Not everyone here is the same as they were before. So there might be some folks that have not given us a like just yet. So if you like what you see, give us a shot. At a thumb this way hopefully we can get under the bridge I think we can that's fantastic if I Bob will just buy a shirt with just a big bird on it has anyone ever made a shirt of big bird but like shaped like a middle finger like a big bird ah huh? nah all right fine I guess the doorman here has his own booth outside the building. Well, these, these apartments here are more co-ops, I think. Hey, we've done it, Mia. Awesome. So, that's okay. Someone always wants to stir the pot, I guess. Are you losing me? Am I that buffery right now? Hopefully we get out of here soon. I actually think there's another um, smaller population of Orthodox Jewish um, here in this area, in those buildings, actually. Huh. Right? Huh? Nick? Hmm? Huh. Have I gone too far with the big bird? Uh oh, my nemesis. Columbia Street is here. <laughs> Strawberry Fields, we can never go too far. Good. Oh, I guess there, yeah, see, there's some, this uh, by Shlomo Zalman Luda Whisker. See, so yeah, there, there are some, some sort of uh, hints at Jewish folks living in this area. So I don't know. And another, ooh, key food. It's a good one. Key food, cheaper.
yeah, I think on my right is housing. On my left is more co-ops or condos, I think. I don't know, it could be rentals, but I don't think it's housing. It's like NYCHA, specifically. This is a cool area for a key food. I don't know why I'm intrigued by this key food so much. <sighs> Wait, Rivington goes this far east? Because huh. I know if we just go a little farther west on Rivington, that really becomes a big hub of nightlife. Not sure what that mural is about. Mazarik? Mazarik? I'm not sure. It's something. Oh, it's the Mazarik Tower. It's private property. So it sounds like it is a little fancier. It's all gated. And there's a, a security before you. Key food on Fulton in downtown is even better. It's pretty cool for a key food. Nice. This fence makes it look like low frame rate. Fang, yeah, I think key food is a very reasonably priced supermarket. I don't know what noises I'm making. No one does. Hello Kitty. Distant sirens. Ooh, they even have a little parking lot for the uh for the building here, but it's a very small lot compared to If I had to guess it has a huge waiting list. And I wonder which school this is. Ski. As Eric Carver would say. Yep, we're getting to Houston right up ahead. Are we at Avenue D? Where are we exactly? Or is that C up ahead? Because I know it's in line with uh, Con Edison. We'd run right into Con Edison if we kept going on D. C goes past it, I think, and lines up with Stytown. Ooh, an article about the towers. Yeah, I'm curious about those Masaryk Towers now. Very curious. Shadow ship's heading out. Hey, it was good to have you for a little bit. Actually, you're here for a good while today. Great, and we'll see you in Discord too. And if you want to see Shadow Ship somewhere else outside the stream, Discord, Discord. Where Dave, the chief Discord officer, will never be seen. Avenue D. God love, yep, still alive. What are we, three hours, 20 minutes in? Not bad for a Saturday, right? Oh, Mazda on my right. Oh, it got really windy all of a sudden. Makes my mic floppy. Somebody wants me to go left. I can go left on Third Street, I guess. I can go on third. Should I? Or we keep going north a little bit more? Nah, let's keep going north. Let me get past the lamp carrying before I get in the way. 
It's like a slob having any different names and numbers. Well, we are kind of an alphabet city here because of these avenue names. We are here. Alphabet City walking through on Avenue D going north. It's got another school over there. On my left. Rick Fisher says Masaryk is a 21-story high-rise building. Well, there's multiple buildings, right? All right, we can check out. I feel like we've never walked on 5th Street. Let's take a look 5th Street. Uh-oh, that music is definitely going to be copyrighted. Let's check out 5th Street. I feel like we haven't ever walked up here before. Caleb's here. Uh oh. Oh, he's got his own. Did you see that? He had his cars in there and everything. He had the key to the gate. <sighs> Lucky. Hannah, hello. So if we're walking this way, Avenue C should be next. Looks like a little community park on my left. Might be part of the school too. No, it's part of the school. Death trap looking thing. Structure in there, that looks... Who knows? Silent sink. It's like another community garden on the left. Uh, Del Paraiso, the Garden of Paradise. Morning Glory or something? Oh. A little bit more. I mean, this is like a... message. Wow. Ain't that something. What about my hot spot? Shouldn't it be filling in the gap? Why is, uh, why is Speedify not behaving the way it's supposed to be? Let me just check my phone to see if hot spot's still on. It says it is. All right, Avenue C. And there's the alphabet on my left. Don't go chasing fences. Stay closer to the wooden structures that you're used to. Don't go chasing chain link fences. Yes, there we go. Just Nupur, all right, thanks for stopping in. Good to have you as always. Anytime you get near a fence, we seem to buffer like crazy, apparently. And it's a newer issue with the, with the newer phones. The iPhone 8 never had this problem. But ever since we got to this newer phone, the iPhone 12 started having this problem. But not when I first got it. Maybe there was a change in the way they handled cell service. Anyhow. 65 degrees. It's getting warmer and warmer. Well, I'm getting sweatier. Bryant Park's changing the lawn. Hmm. I think there's a police station around here. On Avenue C somewhere. I think. Smoothio says, cool to walk through your neighborhood. Nice. I think you said you were on the Avenue A area. Dingaling. 
All right, I probably shouldn't be saying any things that could have two meanings. Rick, Nightbot is just that, a bot that helps manage some of the uh, more straightforward moderating stuff and helps with the um, information too, like weather and some other commands. Mike, glad you enjoyed. Have a great day. Oh, did I miss Art Deco? Might have been probably behind me at that point. Art Deco similar to the style of what, the Chrysler? We learned that on the stream. I'm always learning. I don't claim to know much. I claim to know little. I have the Socratic approach. <laughs> No car, so we'll go. Yeah, I know there was a lawn there before, but I guess they might have down or they're redoing it. Since it doesn't grow there naturally, they just add it every year after the winter. Not too close to a fence. Let's cross the street. Him close too close to that fence and it's causing buffering, so we're gonna cross. Ah, I guess we'll just cross this way first. But I also don't really want to be under the scaffolding, so. Cross here, then we'll go left. All right. Looks like we're good. Metro by, oh, that's right. Metro PCS is now T-Mobile, not Sprint anymore. Yeah, right, Adam? Someone tell Apple to fix that. That feels copyrighted. H-Town Andy, your coworker used to call you Google because you know a little about a lot. I think it's good to know a little about a lot. Because then you're aware of things and you know what to look for if you need to look deeper. A love letter to T-Mobile and Verizon and Apple, because I don't know if Apple's the one that made some change in their software too to make buffering so prevalent by fences. Stevie, hey, yeah, it's been a while. No gates today, but just the, remember the bend gate of the iPhone? We have buffer gate. That's all we got. What a time, what a time to be alive. Not to me, not to me. There's somebody next to me. It's not always awkward. You think someone's saying hello, but it's somebody just behind you. Oh, I see another Revel. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see it. Oh, that's an efficient scooter. He's really loaded up on bags. Three and a half hours, closer to Stye Town. Check the phone for messages. All right, 14th and Avenue C is coming up. This used to be an RS Strauss, I think, car shop. 
But ever since they tore it down, nothing's taken its place, and I don't know if anything's being developed here, but it could be another luxury apartment building, though it's right next to Con Edison. Not sure everyone wants to be so close. Maybe it'll make the apartments cheaper. I don't know. Did I pass the High Line today? Uh, no, we didn't even go under it today based on the way we went. That's okay. Another day. Got a Tesla there. Got a Tesla here. Ooh, and not a parking spot next to the bus stop here. Unfortunately, this used to be a spot. I swear you could be able to park here before. But now they put up a sign saying you can't. I mean, I can only show you as much of the Con Edison plant as I can. But you used to be able to drive through the Con Edison plant, actually. Um, back in the day, there used to be an exit 15, I think. No, it wasn't 15. I forget. No, it came onto 15th Street. You used to have an exit off of the FDR. Might have been exit 7, actually. It used to go through this, so you could drive down off the FDR this way. But they closed that off since, um, I think since 9-11. So you cannot drive through the power plant anymore. Old, old exit off the FDR. I think it was seven. Was it seven? I don't know. Somebody can correct me. Did I, what did I miss? I don't know what I missed. I'm sorry. I got excited about the FDR exit. Nate is here, hello. Yeah, let's cross. Nope, I got the light. Shouldn't try to run me over. Well, we're somehow gonna, somehow gonna end up back at the East River anyway. Cecil, I don't think I've ever been there, no. Nick says, are we adding that one? That's a very specific one. People might not be too excited about that one, like I am. I don't know if I can go through yet. I guess I'll wait. I'll wait for him to do whatever he's doing. Maybe I'll step out to the side so that I'm not in the way. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Make it a little easier on myself. Dave E is here, substituting. Hello. Gotta go to the East River. Can I get around? I don't know, there's a moving truck stop there, but you're never allowed to stop there, so I'm not sure what that's doing. Anyway. Ah, and we got the light here too. Let's take it. Before we have to wait. Okay. Safe for a while until we have to do the detour. by a pigeon. Interesting looking boat over there. Let me switch to the 2X so that when it comes by you can see what it It's like extra tall 
but like in a weird way, it's like a bathtub. Or a giant shoe. Oh, we're buffering again. Ah. All right, let's keep moving. Looking north, you could see the UN. One Vanderbilt. That means the Empire shouldn't be too far to the left of it, but it might be hard to see at this angle. Or it looks like hand soap. Oh yeah, that's another good way to say it. Or a slipper. Yep, yep. A shrine. Is this music old timey enough that it's not copyrighted? It's like big band almost. It's very upbeat, I like it. My streams don't share the love of the water. Yeah, why do they buffer so much on me? Wow, they've really torn this up. Oh man, everything, all the trees and everything. Wow. Dixieland, yeah, that's what it sounds like. I mean, they claim it's going to look like this. We'll see. Oh, are we buffering again? And I'm stuck waiting here because of the light. Shoot. I'll try to get to the middle while well, there's no cars. I'll get to the middle and wait here. Maybe it'll be a little better away from the fence. Okay, I'm safe, let's go. Yeah, there's a fence all around it. Good thing we're away from it now. I think we're safer. Manny, hello. Anyone's curious, we're at 21,500 steps so far. This is about a third of the saunter. If anyone remembers the saunter, saunter gave us uh, 61,000 steps. I should walk through Stytown, but we're already, we're already at Peter Cooper. Detours coming up. We'll just finish up as usual, I think. I think, got it. Robert, glad you're enjoying. I mean, one day, hopefully, I could do more of those evening, nighttime streams. Uh, not super late because my bedtime is so early, but you should be able to catch it up with the nightlife. Well, the beginning of it. Yeah, Peter Cooper uh, Village and Stuyvesant Town are kind of one and the same. One's newer than the other with bigger apartments, but essentially the same complex. Twenty-one thousand steps, about a third of the saunter. That one was a doozy. What time is it over there, Pieta? You do? I didn't do that smoothie. I grew up in Stytown, but I didn't call it all of it Stytown. I don't know. Personally, I did. <laughs> 1 20 a.m. Oh, that is late. Okay. Hopefully, you could sleep in a little bit.
I think I differentiated because Peter Cooper Village is so much nicer. Apartments are bigger. Uh, it's still red and red and red and red. I don't want to... Especially if I cross while reading the... the phone. Karina, good morning. Still red. Still red. I don't know. I'm just going to wait. No, uh, no point in rushing it. Yeah, refresh usually helps. Oh, now it's green. That would be one insane live stream. Looks like we're getting across, thank you. I can't see the gas prices from where I am. I don't know, he's letting him through. That's why he's there, to so not hold up traffic. Thank you. Uh, gas prices are... 449. 449. Not too bad. Only because it doesn't change that frequently. At least it's consistent. How many steps so far? Now we're probably at almost 22,000. 21.9 or so. Yeah, 20. Nope, just hit 22. Not bad. It's the Skyport Marina and Seaplane Terminal. You know, I call it a float plane. All right, fence is here. I want to the other side. That complex of buildings, the Hunter College, Brookdale Health Science Center. I think they have a gym with a pool there too. We're buffering here? We never buffer here. I'm not even next to the fence. The fence radius is increasing. It's damage. That's a lot of damage. I better get some flex tape. Leanne, hello, hello. Yeah, it is frustrating, right? Where's the manager? I've, um, I flex sealed, flex glued, flex liquid poured a few things. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. might be drinking more caffeine today ah uh, maybe after lunch I didn't sleep much last night um, I got home late cuz I was saying goodbye to grandma at the airport she had a 1 a.m. flight to Russia and then I woke up at 5 because the baby was not feeling well February to 102 Anyhow, 9.2 miles, not even 11.30 yet. Yeah, we did a bit, we did a bit. We did a bit today. These buildings, the rents aren't super cheap. No, they're not too cheap. Nice buildings. I think they're older, but still a decent area. A little far away from public transport. They do have a bus stop at the bottom. Yeah, JFK, yep. 
Now she's only going for a little bit. I'm just a little worried, you know, because she's going alone. That's what she wanted. Baby is uh, eight months now. Eight, eh, eight months, ten days. Eight and a half months. Let's say that. Yeah, if you want to have an apartment in these buildings, I think it's better to have them on this side because you don't get the FDR noise. You might get some helicopter and plane noise and boat noise, but that's more in the daytime. At night, it's very quiet. And you'll have front, front seat views to the fireworks on July 4th. I am Alapalooza, you're referring to my grandma or the baby? I'm, I'm only kidding. She is, uh, she commando crawls. She doesn't like regular crawling, but she already pulls to stand and cruises. So she may have skipped proper crawling. Who knows? Doesn't matter. I hear that crawling is not a real milestone. So maybe it's just skip it. We'll see. Hey, Giggle Bunny. Yeah, we're going for a while. But things should look a little familiar to you. It's like a, it's like an episode of one of your shows where you know it's nearing the end. I don't know that it's an official milestone though, I'm Alapalooza. My mom said I never crawled. And look at me walking now. <laughs> I am the walking commute. I'm the epitome of walking. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's not go too far, huh? My mom heard the Beatles uh, before then, but I think they were, it was harder to find that kind of music. People surprised about the crawling thing? Is that what the wows are referring? And the OM OM OMGs? I walked past the fence and the stream totally stopped for one to two seconds. That is nuts. I mean, these fences are just, it's like somebody programmed it in. Maybe it's a way the carriers have uh, programmed in like a way to deprioritize streamers and take up too much data. Uh, I don't follow that person on, on Andrew. Did I ever have a big wheel? I did not have a big wheel, no. I rode a bike in Russia, a proper bike. <clears throat> My mom said I was riding a bike at like without training wheels, definitely by four, which I think, I think she said it was three or so when I was really riding the bike. <sighs> See, I feel like the iPhone 8 wouldn't handle how dark this is and the bright and the buildings and the sky. I don't think it would. We got buffering again. Oh my goodness, we never get buffering right around here. This is usually a safe zone. 
Even by the helipad right next to that. Well, it has to be a chain link fence usually. I feel like I should check the settings on Speedify also, see if it's actually behaving right. I'll mess with it. We're up to 67 degrees. I think it's gonna get into the 70s today officially. 75 or so is the high temp. I mean, usually, I think the high temperature is usually around two o'clock in the afternoon. I had him just says, stay away from fences, water, well, I already stay away from water in my day-to-day -day life. I don't really know how frequently I drink water, but it's not very much of it. All right. Here we are. Let's go wide, shall we? We've got Queens, Long Island City, Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I feel like if I ever do a fishing stream, it'll be right around here. Because usually the service is okay, right? Usually. And they got benches. Great walk, where are we? We're right by 34th Street in the helipad over here. UN, you could see. Queensborough Bridge, 59th Street Bridge, Ed Koch Queensborough Bridge, whatever the full official name is now. Long Island City. That used, the Citibank building used to be the tallest one there, the Altice building. But as you can see, it's dwarfed now and lost in a sea of high-rise apartments. Strawberry Fields, we've missed you too. Hopefully we'll see you pop into Discord again. And that leads me to the, the goodbyes. I appreciate everyone joining today and thank you for the super chats and super stickers. I think I saw a couple of Pay PayPals come in too when I checked my other phone, so thank you for that. Hey, Josh, we've been going for a while, almost four hours, goodness, not bad. I think my right hand is now permanently in the shape of a, hold on, let me see if I can remove the, remove the gimbal from my right hand. <sighs> All right, let's not, let, that also doesn't look right. You know, you know, guys, it's like GHS, gimbal hand syndrome. So again, appreciate you, do you donating um, to support the channel. Thank you for spending time with me as well. Can we get to 700 likes before the end of the stream? That would be, uh, that would be something. The one-handed experience indeed. Yes, Strawberry Fields. Yeah, if you like the stream and you haven't, uh, given us a thumbs up already, do think about it. At the buzzer, Mercury Moments, Josh with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you, Josh. Always appreciated. Let's thank everybody again for your support, donating your time as well, something you can't get back. So I really appreciate you spending some of it with me. Eagle on fire, heating up. Oh yeah, if you make a dunk from really far away, sometimes the announcer goes, boom, shakalaka. Remember NBA Jam? Gigi says, 1K likes, I deserve it. Hey, thank you. If we could only do that, right, today with only 500 people left. I'm sure there's been some rotation in viewers, so maybe there's enough to get to 700 for sure. Well, I don't know where we are now, but thanks again. So yeah, Discord, before people start flying away, Discord, join us on Discord. A lot of conversation continues there. I think, I think some of you will enjoy it. You got Dave, the chief Discord officer, doesn't even go there, but he made the chief position. Um, he'll probably have his own channel in there soon. Mercury Moments, back to back. Back to back Mercury Moments. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that again. And looks like we've hit 700 likes. All right, sounds like a great time to uh, end the stream then. So thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you joining me today. Have a great rest of the day wherever you are. Members and mods, I didn't forget you. Don't think that I did, but thank you for your help. All right, everyone. No, you got, it's like you got uh, fouled while shooting a three-pointer. You got three, three free throws there. Mercury Moments, thank you again, Mercury Moments. A true at the buzzer. All right, everyone. I'll see, I'll see you. Bye, everybody.